Podcast. Welcome back to the Cold Sack and the Angry Podcast. God, dude. What the fuck, dog? Man, yeah, me. You, you know, fucking. Anyway, welcome back to the Photo Side Guys and the Neighbors Podcast. I'm Mitchell. I'm David. And we're here joined with John, who can't hold it together. <laughs> he can't Nothing. figure it out. It's not even true. You said hold on for five seconds. Yeah, and your fucking whole face was in your shirt. Red. <laughs> You're sweating right now trying not to you laugh. Are. Oh, that yeah. happened. You good? Hi, I'm John. <laughs> After all that, you come back. Hi, I'm John. <laughs> John. Yeah, man. All right. Welcome, welcome, man. Yeah, Thanks for joining welcome. us. No, I appreciate it. I've do been you? waiting. Yeah, for a little bit. It's been exciting to see yeah. you guys do uh, what you're doing. Uh, I think I kind of told you guys a little bit. Like last week, I think it's super dope yeah. that a lot of people talk about doing a podcast. Yeah. A lot of people talk about doing a lot of, a lot of things. Yeah. And the fact that you're actually doing it, yeah. I think is a lot cooler. Well, you're kind of like that, though, where mm-hmm. you, uh, when you talk about something, you, you do end up doing it. Right. Yeah. Because, like, you talked for a while about doing what you're doing now, which is, like, videography Mm -hmm. and pictures and all those stuff. And for a long time, I was like, you know, because that's just how our kind of age is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for all the time, not just our generation, but the age. personally, too. Like, I know I'm way more, like, bark than bite, but I'm slowly, like, my teeth are coming (laughs) in. We're getting there. Well, so. But it's funny, too, because, like, when John was over here helping us, like, a little video, um... I told him, I was like, yeah, I'm thinking about going into coding. He's like, you don't want to go into fucking coding, dude. Like, <laughs> Not a creative person. No. No. Yeah, like, I was going to coding for the money, but, like, it's not what I want to do. First thing so. he said was, like, oh, make more money. And I'm like, that's Fuck the first money. problem. <laughs> right? Like, that's going to be your biggest problem right there. 100%. Right there. Well, it can be. But, like, anyway, you uh, you end up doing what you say you want to do. Because I remember, yeah. John, you were helping me. Um, when you were a leasing agent, you were helping me like with the house stuff and trying to figure out how to get um, get me in a home. And then you were talking about doing this stuff. I was like, yeah, well, he might do that. Yeah, like, and he might been... do it. And then you you just like, I remember one time I was on the Home Scout app and like it used to have your picture and then it didn't. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? And you're like, oh, yeah, like, I quit. I, quit. I'm, I, I got I did a studio thing. So tell us a little bit before we jump into really anything. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Well, it's funny to you real quick before you go into it, how you found out he quit. I saw John at Crunch. And I was like, oh, what's up, man? How's it going? Like, how's work? He goes, yeah, I quit. I was just like, <laughs> what? He's like, yeah, done. You and didn't I won't do it anymore. So I was like, you and I have a similar cool, story man. there, but. And it's interesting because like, um, what was the question? Like, oh, what are Lee. you doing now? Like, what's well, your, what's your like, job? What do like, you, how, how'd you, you get, how'd you get to where you're at kind of thing? So basically after uh, graduating college, it was two years working corporate world. But to kind of mm-hmm. piggyback off of what you were saying is like, I've always been the type to like want to go do something. Like if I have a mindset on it, like I really want to go do that. Right. But I wasn't doing that. It's yeah. Two years after college, like we're totally not me. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. Like um, I'm not someone who's like complacent. Or, right. Like just kind of like going through the happy motions. Happy going through the motions. Like I'm not mm-hmm. that type of person, and I became that. Yeah. And so in these last two years, it was really like, what the hell's going on? Like, you know, you're not happy, but you're still doing the same thing over and over again, you know? Well, yeah, because you're also told that, like, you need to have this thing. Like, you need to have this job that has the, these benefits. You need to have this thing. Like, basically, for some reason, we what, need all this stuff. Right? And we don't even know why we need it. Right? Th- because it's what we're preached to from middle school and on. And we're. Our parents don't want to see us struggle, so that they they pitch most of the time. They pitch the idea that has the least amount of a chance for failure. Mm-hmm. But for us, and for really anybody around our age, you have to remove the fear and just try because that's when you start to fucking regret shit, man. Dude, that's right? when you don't try. It's funny too. Like I said earlier, like, right. you're just gonna kill all of us. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it is, man. And it's most of the time it's parents speaking. Uh, trying to speak fear but disguise this practicality right. it's not practical don't do that so what are you going to do you're, did, you're, did, did your mom preach go to school not uh, not necessarily go to school um, I think she probably would have liked me to but like my mom went to a trade right she's a hairdresser so yeah. she did her Both thing of ours. yeah, yeah. And, and then um, she just wants me to have some. but like she was super against streaming I've talked about that a lot yeah, yeah. Like no, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So like, it, because it's because what do you get? I talk, we talked about this too. Like when you're streaming, you forego having health benefits. Well, it was so and far ahead of the curve. Like you have too, to do you all know, that. Like, yeah, there's that. I mean, but like, but 
Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. I just mean too, like not many people are doing it at the time. I feel like, like broadcast, like for you, like no one's they, doing it in my my friend group. No one's doing right. it. It's so weird what they pick and choose what to be excited and what to like. Because when I started doing MMA, they right. were like, "Don't do MMA." Right. Oh, we were like, yeah. they're like, do it. Uh, they're like, do what you want to do. But then when I'm like, hey, I want to do this, they're like, that's video games, yo, dude. Take so shots to the thing. fucking head, but yeah. don't play. Yeah, like safe I literally in front got of a screen. In the fucking face. Yeah. It is interesting, because I I would say I was a lot like that, too. Like, oh, MMA, super dope, super excited. And, like, Twitch, it's like, I also was in more of a narrow-minded mindset at that point Mm -hmm. when we first started. So it's like, video games. What is this? That's the same thing I said to Eno. Yeah, because I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. I all of a sudden thought it was something that, like, wasn't as good, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now, all of a sudden, like, I'm like, yo, if you, like, I'm telling you to get on that. Yeah. (laughs) Like, I'm telling you to get on that, because, like, that, it's real. Yeah. It's it's different, but it's real, and it's going to change the world. There's a fair, like, skepticism about anything. Mm -hmm. Like, that's fair. Like, if you want to be skeptical about what someone might be doing, for instance, like, I bet, to some extent, like, your parents were skeptical that you were going to be able to turn a dollar. Yeah. In a sense, right? You know, they were like, that that's a risk. They probably brought that up to you, but in my opinion, once that person is going to simulate that risk, then the people in your life who really love you just need to be full on board. Well, here's the crazy thing too. Like, yeah, let's one, do shit. You once know? you take, yeah. once you take yeah. that first step towards the risk, like you just go gung ho. Well, and like a lot of times, parents and family members hold people back, though. Right. No, for sure, I get that. But like for me, like being practical, you gotta be yeah. practical. Yeah, uh, it's right. Fear well, disguised uh, as practicality. They're yeah. afraid for you. It's they're just, afraid that you're some bad's gonna happen to you. It's bullshit. And though. they're gonna have to fix it for you. Like when That's we're younger, fear. when we're younger, like they tell you to take like, a risk, go for it, chase, do this, go do that, chase yeah. after the stars or yeah. whatever. Like, when you're a little age, baby, light switch, you know, it's like all right now. As soon as you get older, so yeah. As soon as you get older, hey, stop, stop dreaming. Yeah, right. Like go do one of these six things. In you your can make life. forty-five grand and be happy, or eighty-five miserable <laughs> with benefits and hate yeah. your life every day. Yeah, I mean, it, it totally just depends, but for sure, I mean, before, happiness is different for everybody. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, that's true. but what are you doing right now? What, what's your job right now? I uh, guess. I am a business owner of yeah. a media company that has a studio that's available for renting out to um, other photographers and videographers. Mm-hmm. But the main part of the business is honestly media. Yeah. Like building media for small businesses and yeah. like personal brands. Right. So um, you reach out or get reached out to to make videos for small businesses or take pictures for small businesses yeah. to like promote their business for their customers or to promote for their workforce or how both uh what i've kind of realized is like a lot of small businesses know um they know they need this online stuff yeah right that presence they know they need it they know they need something that looks cool on online but they don't know what yeah they don't know how i'm not saying i even really know what or how either but like the people i'm surrounded with like we can all collectively do something and put something together that's visually appealing. Mm-hmm. Right. That at the end of the day will help build brand. Just yeah. Kind of brings them into that time. new age kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Because like we don't really know yet what we want as far as when it comes to social media. Why do we click on certain things? Right. Why don't we? Other than like other than short and cool and value. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and so that's the kind of take <clears throat> that I've been kind of going with right now with small businesses is more of just... It's just trying to make this thing that's not so cool look cool. So yeah. because you're attacking a small business, right? Yeah. Like price point is a was probably a thing that you talk because you do you you don't solely own it. Do you have you have co-owners or is it like no, your it's thing? Just and, me. Just you. Yeah. Um. So like when you were doing it or when you were coming up with like your model or your business plan, like what were you gonna do for? You know, because it's brand new. You went from help. So you're a leasing agent to help people get uh, mortgages. <clears throat> I was like, yeah, that's like a lot of things like people don't understand is like, I've only been doing videography for like six, probably six months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're good at it. If that. Yeah. I've been editing for like four months. Shout out Chris Schaffner, who like got me onto Adobe Premiere. Mm. I was a big iMovie person because I was so scared and afraid of Adobe. Yeah, because it's a lot. Dude, it's a lot. There's so much you can do. Adobe products are so overwhelming. I I, I just started doing effects. Like last week, I posted a video last Mm -hmm. week. My first video, I used real effects, and and that's where like some people, a lot of people don't know is that like I've only been doing this for like five months. Yeah, six months, six months at that. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. It's been like it's more. 
it's, it's not work. Right. I mean, yeah. I, think, I mean, you talk about yeah, this yeah. a lot. Where it's just like you do something you enjoy and like super the cliche. hours just fly by. You don't mind at all. Yeah, like you look forward to cliche. it. Yeah, 100%. you just do it. It's not work. So right. it will change. It will become work. <laughs> yeah. Eventually. It will be to some extent, but like what he's saying, like, where you Debbie enjoy Downer, it. No, no, but like if it's Jeez. work that you enjoy, like it's different <laughs> than just, I mean, yeah, work will always be work. I, I get what you're well, saying, but. Well, I guess what I'm saying is this. Like, I can sit there all day, bro. I'm not joking. And, like, I get chills, like, right now, like, thinking about it. Right. like, you guys are doing the same thing right now. Yeah, for sure. This uh-huh. isn't work, but this is work. This yeah, takes yeah. time. Well, right. what I'm trying to say is, um, because it's a business, right? There, If there's ten things that make up your business, you might love seven of them. Right. Not like one and really hate two. Right. And so when you get oh, to the yeah. point where you're only doing the two that you hate because you've done all the other stuff that you like. Right. But you have to do these two that you fucking loathe. That's what I mean is where eventually the high kind of comes down. So just you just got to keep going. Because streaming was right. that way too. Because I was like, yeah, I get to fucking stream. But then right. when it came into like trying to build a brand. Yeah. Trying to the, reach the out business to business stuff. I didn't know right. how to do all that stuff. Sucks. And I hated it because I didn't, I felt uncomfortable. Yeah. Like the real business stuff. Yeah. Right. Sucks. I, I 100% oh, I have to form agree. an LLC, or LLC. I have, to yeah. do, I have to fucking file taxes for this shit. I don't know mm-hmm. how to do any of this. I fucking hate I hate streaming now. That's what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> you know? What's this thing? Why dude, do this? something that has nothing to do with streaming. Right. That's, I, I literally feel the same way. Because, like, dude, I can, I can record all day. I can shoot anything all day. Like, it's just mm-hmm. so much fun to just capture something, slow it down, way down, and then just try and create something that's visually appealing, which is exactly what I did with, like, you guys out there. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. is totally random. The walkout scene is actually dude, super dope. That was fun, yeah. I that was tight. love that scene. Um, you know, it's, it's really funny, though, because I was thinking about, like, <laughs> for me with, like, Adobe, because it is so overwhelming, and I didn't study yes. it in school. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, we took a couple classes in high school, but I took, like, a six-year hiatus from it. Well, and in high school, like, from what We're it was, same way with I mean, creative. Adobe Premiere yeah. Pro is newer. Well, like, it's, at least it's been there's around. newer additions. Yeah, yeah. well, it's, al- it's always Updating. changing. Yeah, yeah, it's always, there's always updates. But I mean, like, so I do Illustrator primarily, and, like, I've started, like, studying yeah, up on, like, designers Illustrator and too. how they do shit. And, like, when that light bulb goes off and you finally figure it out and get it, it's just, like, such a breath of fresh air, and, like, you just get that so second easy. energy, right? It's just, like, like... Like, I, I imagine videos are the same way for you. you like, you just start no doing idea. effects how much I was doing art in Microsoft Paint. What? Dude, there's a <laughs> lot I didn't of know how to do anything, so Dude. I just would, like, throw shit in there, and then I, was, I uh, can... Yeah, that's what I did for a Microsoft while for streaming thing. stuff. That's I was like, oh, I need fun. a logo for my thing. I don't have money to pay for someone to do it. Yeah. Did you just figure it paint. out. Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome. Wait, yeah. the bacon five zero? Because that's no, actually no. oh, like no, that's no, actually no. I got that one made. Oh, did Colin do that? Uh, Colin, my cousin did one, okay. and then Colin did a lot of my. Bro, other I think bacon five zero is so tight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bacon five zero is so sick. And then I did uh, a bunch of. I had a bunch of viewers who would draw, mm-hmm. and then they would send it to me, and then I would send it to somebody, and they would pick. They would like cartoon, like nice. make it more cartoon, Take it from like a sketch to yeah. more of a comic Dude, style. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's dope. So when you started Twitch, yeah, you had zero followers. Mm-hmm. How long did it take you to get to your peak? Uh, two years. Two years. Yeah. So I went from so my first year of streaming was October 2014 to October 2015, and between that time there was one event, uh, TwitchCon, TwitchCon 2015, which was the first one that they had. So I went to that, and so I went from zero to zero followers to two thousand. Uh, by that time so 2,000 followers in a yeah. year mind you I had no expectations for anything like mm-hmm. I thought like oh if I could get I remember this specifically I um, when I went back to work at uh, Cinetopia I told two co-workers that I was streaming and I was like super pumped because I had just crossed 100 followers Confused. and they were like Oh, you have a hundred? Like that's nothing. And I was like, fuck. Like I was like, damn. Like, like I was like, shit, oh. right, dude. I was like, a hundred seems like a lot to me, yeah. right? Because uh, this is how I always visualize it: is if I was sitting in a room and there was a hundred people there. Oh, it's be, a lot of people. Yeah. It's a lot. That's okay, a lot that's of super interesting. Right? I never thought of it. In I that didn't either. But as soon as he said that, I was like, oh, yeah. I, that's it, super dope. I just felt like this cold, like, oh my. Uh, yeah, God, that's that's a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. So then, um, for, then there was a game that came out called um, Dead Realm, which was like a hide and seek, um, like where one person plays a ghost or killer type mm-hmm. person, the other ones hide, and they have like certain moves, and once they get them, then they become a ghost. So it's okay. kind of like sharks and minnows, like or an like, infected kind of thing. Yeah, where it's like once they get yeah. infected, then everyone. 
then if you're the last person standing, but there's a timer and all this shit. Right. So I played that and I blew up because it was a YouTuber, like YouTubers made the game. So it was like a Syndicate, um, Terrorizer, uh, Wildcat, a bunch of different people. Yeah. Interesting Mini little names, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, like these are like, these guys were big at the time and they right. still might be, but they founded this uh, bl- black dot, three dot, some, I can't remember what it was. They founded this gaming company and they, mm-hmm. they made this game. And so, like, when they got off, like, if one of them were playing it, they, they, these guys had, like, 20,000 viewers, 30,000 viewers. But when they got off, those people wanted to continue watching this game. Uh-huh. And a lot of times, they ended up popping into my channel because if I was, like, the third or fourth on the list, with, like, it? 25. <laughs> so then my viewer count would jump from 25 to, like, 150, 250. 250 yeah. And then I started to rack in followers. And because it was a horror game... And you have alerts for followers and subscribers and all this shit. Well, at the time, I wasn't partnered. Yeah. So, um, or like donations. So then people, I would set my alerts to be spooky stuff. So if someone followed, it would be like a witch laughing and it would scare me oh, or like that Jesus. kind of shit. Dude, like actually would? Like you Yeah, because like, a lot of times it would be like really fucking loud and you'd be like, oh, oh, I got to get away. I'm being chased. And then it was like just witch fucking cackling in your ear and you're like, oh my God. And so people really enjoyed that. That's cool. So I went to 2000 and then I found Paladins at TwitchCon 2015 and then that's pretty much all I played. And I went from 2000 to uh, like 20,000. Damn. That's insane. That's wild. Yeah. So then In two be- years. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I had a part time part time job being paid hourly to play Paladins mm-hmm. and That's I tight. played competitively. And like for a while, I was like pro. I was pro video game You're player. Big That's deal. what I was. Big right? deal. I felt like a big deal. Yeah, a big we, deal. We talked about it before. Like I got like talk to mm-hmm. but someone saw me in Atlanta knew who I was because it's like you had some momentum and then and yeah and then it was just uh, I mean it's not con- streaming's not conducive for like real life yeah because it's you, you kind of alienate yourself so you mm-hmm. don't have a lot of friends you have to um, if you want to if you want to be I yeah or you one. just need somebody who is perfectly willing to know that like this you're gonna life. be absent until you don't have to be absent anymore. It's like you make half a million a month. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, dude. What's up, there's, Ninja? Yeah, that's uh, what it is. Half a million Ten. is by far an understatement. Oh, a month? yeah. Really? This dude's yeah. pulling. Really? Yeah, because so at one point he Wait, had, what? Yeah. At one point he, he had like 220,000 subscribers. So let's just say, because I had a 70-30 cut of my subscribers. So $5, I made 70% of that. Okay. That's what I had. I'm not Ninja. No. So, what, but let's assume that he has... Let me say probably got like 90, 10 or something. Probably not that high, but it's probably high, though. But let's assume that it's 70, 30. Let's assume that's the highest you that's can go. So, so of, the, <laughs> of the $5, what is it, $3? Like 350 What's 70%? Oh, shit. You want me to do that? Sorry. Uh, 5... David 350, just, yeah. 350. 350. So no, no, I'm mul- looking up Ninja. M- multiply, <laughs> multiply 350 by 225,000. <laughs> I got an obnoxious laugh. Seven hundred eighty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. Seven. That's what he made a month for what? a while. What? Seven hundred eighty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. Just that's just from subscribers. Just, it doesn't count donations. It doesn't count ad revenue. Does it? Doesn't count any of his sponsorships. It doesn't count shit. That's Obviously, crazy. you're making almost a million dollars a month. You got your taxes are fucked. That's crazy. But that's what he was making, man. That's why, he, and he's still huge. And he was doing the right things with money. He was saving it. He wasn't blowing it. He wasn't buying fucking Lamborghinis and shit. So, but yeah. <coughs> that, but that's how I... Let's see. That that was... Yeah, that's my shit. That blows my mind. And that's got to blow the minds of like our parents' age. Like, right? we got these people making millions of dollars so yeah. here, here online. You go. Just at first Google, he earns 550000 a month. Yeah. And three and a half million from endorsements a year. And then he gets probably roughly eighteen million dollars a year. Yeah, everything, all included. Playing video games. Yeah, but, yeah. But if you think about it, it's much more than that. Like it he, is much more than that. He's like, like he's a personality. At the end know? of the day, no, it, that's definitely what it is. Hundred percent. There's a lot of work that goes into it. But hundred percent. Like YouTube, he's not doing his own YouTube. No, his, no He's way. got fucking somebody that he pays oh, for sure. <laughs> he's got you know. He's got a whole team. Got editor, yeah. It's oh, funny. Yeah. One of the Portland ad agencies, like they redesigned his like studio where he like they partnered with Red Bull to redesign really? his like gaming studio just to yeah. make it more like aesthetic. Yeah, like just to like revamp it and just. Well, and his wife is sick. his manager, so now you don't have to pay your manager because whatever money she brings in and Ooh. brings you money, and now you just, you know, like. Yeah, they, if they got divorced, maybe, but yeah, I was, that's yeah, not I was gonna about happen. that too. Like, that's not gonna uh, happen. No, uh, it's not. I don't <laughs> no. think so. 
They, they're pretty strong. Like, he doesn't stream with... This is something that got him in trouble, quote unquote, in trouble, was because he said that he wouldn't stream with girls because he didn't like the... Um, all the questions being asked, like, are they, is he cheating on his wife? All, are, are they together? That's because what, he's because streaming with some girl. It's what trolls do on the uh, internet, that's right? so uh, annoying. So I like, hate all the trolls, other streamers bro. are like, no, like, that's not happening. But, yeah. like, he just didn't want to deal with all that drama. Just so he said, wife, no, yeah. he talked with his wife, and that's what they decided. And then people fucking shamed him for it. And it's like, he made dude, he made a responsible decision for his family. You're going to get shamed for everything that's you do crazy, in dude. today's world. It's such Wait, bullshit. so he got hated on because he, he went communicated with, with his wife. Yep. Mm-hmm. And they figured out what would be best for the two for of them. them. Yep. And then everyone's like... Because it's, because it's Ninja's job to shut down the trolls and to lift up women yeah. in streaming. That's Ninja's job. <laughs> I feel like... It's just like a... <coughs> it's an unrealistic expectation of him. Right? Yeah, it's... I mean, dude, they're putting him on such a pedestal. But... Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think he's handled it well. You don't hear too much talk of him, like, negatively. I Yeah. I mean... Yeah, I mean, you do a little bit, yeah, but it's basically because he's just so fucking good and he's just trolling on you because yeah, you suck dick in the game. Ha- haters gonna hate. Yeah. I also just don't get how, like, someone just the audacity to just make that into a negative somehow. Like, I feel like that's a good thing that he communicated. Oh, for sure, yeah, but I mean... You, <laughs> <think>. <laughs> you know Dude, what I'm saying? Think. But that's the world, man. Somebody's gonna take something positive and spin it to a negative, get it talked about. Unfortunately, that is our world that we live in. But... You know, it's always a negative. It's a very cynical view, but funny. you know. It is. Right? It's true, though. Oh, yeah, I mean. But mm-hmm. glass half full. Or so I try. It's you. <laughs> I'm one. Speed, speed bump. Speed bump. Speed bump. Speed bump. I can has take the hits. <laughs> he just needs to that's get up. That's why I want to be a speed bump. I can take the hits. I can yeah. never get up, but I can take the hits. <laughs> maybe that's like a... Maybe that's a... I should go to an analogy for get something. That figured yeah. out, you know. Like you're a pushover. You like to be rolled over. Yeah. You what's know? up? Tell you me. actually like to be a speed bump? No. What? What? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Mitchell. <laughs> you actually like that? Yeah, it's his dream, dude. Dude. His second grade dream was like, dude. I think it was third grade. Third grade dream. Third grade. I don't fucking know. He was going by Nahalem School. He was yeah. like, dang, these <laughs> speed bumps are nice. I want to be one. <laughs> dude, for a second, I'm everything. sitting there, I'm like, wait, is this a real epic story right now? No, there's no epic story. And then I'm it. just like, hold on. No. Nah. When you were, so John and I met what? Second grade? Cuz my Probably sister knew that. your brother. Yeah. Dude, all you fucking guys meet so early. Dude, cuz we're Just different. We're you're different. A recluse. Our yeah, community is different. Get the fuck out of here. I'm a speed bump, not a recluse. A recluse or a hermit, one of the two. Yeah. Well, uh, you know. I like hermit cuz I don't know what a recluse is. It's the same thing. Yeah. Pretty much. Stay a same. frog? What? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing as a hermit. Oh, John. We got Hermit the Frog, right? Kermit. Kermit, oh. yeah. Dude. Kermit's a fucking crap. <laughs> oh, God. Kermit. Jesus. Kermit. All right, so we got to dumb this down to, like... We got to figure it out. Yeah. Oh, we got to figure shit. it out for John. All right, no. so you guys met second grade. Something like that. Yeah, a long time ago. Because we played football together when in fourth grade, when mm-hmm. I was in fourth grade. But I think we met before that because of our siblings like my yeah. older sister and his older brother like I've been over here at this crib literally probably first second grade yeah something like that and then um, let's see we got baptized together that was that. a crazy moment that yeah. was weird I was super into going to church at that moment in time okay and pe- pe- people who listen to this are like what yeah, they're gonna, be a little, they're gonna be a little thrown off. It was different. It was I'm different not gonna lie, I'm a little thrown off. I was yeah, not expecting those words out when of your people mouth. People hear like some shit. No disrespect. Some shit like that, like that I say that I'm sure I'll say they will be thrown off. And it is interesting because yeah, I remember your mom got me that Bible for my birthday. Mm-hmm. Highlighted certain things. Got baptized. Pretty sure like on Christmas Eve or something like that. I remember, dude. I remember it was on Christmas Eve. The thing was like a hot tub. Mm-hmm. It felt like a hot church. tub. Yeah. yeah. And, like, I'm pretty sure I was in front of you when I did it. And we just wearing these white shirts. And all of a sudden, this dude just goes, blah, blah. And I'm just like, well, what did I just do? And then, oh, blah, blah. It was, like, for a solid month. We probably went every Sunday. Damn. Yeah, it maybe a little bit longer than that. But, yeah. We went <laughs> for me, lot. personally, because, like, you've always been, you've always were going. Yeah, I, I don't kinda, go anymore. No, nah, I, I just, like, joined during that time, which is super interesting because I'm hmm. not that. I don't go to church. Yeah, everyone yeah. has their own personal walk with whatever For religion sure. they are into. 
but yeah, that, that's that's us. But what John played football, and then you went from like you went and played. Where did you play? You played Linfield and yeah. George so Fox? I started football second grade, sixteen years. Um, Dude, that's total. crazy to think about. Right. Sixteen fucking Dude, years. Well, I sixteen years playing, of football. Yeah. I remember playing baseball against you in little league, and then, <laughs> you, and then you quit playing baseball, and I was just like, "What?" Well, Dude, that was. Huge, you know. I was yeah, you a could fat hit, boy. But you could hit the ball a yeah, mile, Yeah, what did you dude? swim out? <laughs> like seventh grade, I think. Seventh grade was the year because I got taller, if you can believe it or not. Just slightly, I, yeah. I grew to 5'8 for what I am right now, and, like, I was tall. That's tall yeah. for seventh grade. And for how short you were before Four. that. Yeah. Because you, I grew. you were a bowling ball. Yeah, I was 100 pounds in kindergarten. Yeep. <laughs> what? No yeah, way. 100 pounds in kindergarten, 30 pounds, one years old. Dude, honestly, Damn. I don't want to point fingers, but that's his mom's fault. Not to be mean, but because she loves feeding people. I yeah. remember I stayed over at John's, <laughs> she, I stayed over at John's house thing. one, like, maybe like one time. Yeah. With, uh, new, your new house. The yeah. One, um, the one I'm marrying. Yeah. And I remember like I ate and she like made me, like she specifically made oh. me something because they were eating <laughs> sushi and I had never had it before. Right. And I was like... I, I don't eat this. Yeah. I've never had it, right? I'm just a simple white kid from the yeah. suburbs. I don't know. I don't fuck with that. It's raw. So she I don't made, want that. Yeah, so she made me, like, fettuccine. Oh, And I shit. ate the whole, like, I ate all of it. And then she's like, you want more? Because once I ate all of it, she's like, you must still be hungry. Yeah. And, like, no, no, yeah, and I was like, no, I'm good. And, like, now I know that's because John probably, like, ate his fucking food. And she's like, you want more? And John didn't want to be mean. So he said, yeah. You can't yeah. say no. Yeah, so he you said, can't. yeah. And... Uh. I mean, culture, you have a lot of carbs. Like, rice is filling. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's uh, heavy. Carbs are my pyramid. I love them. I think it's the culture thing, like, to be honest. Because, like, just to put it, like, into perspective. So, like, when I saw my grandma. I mm-hmm. went and saw my grandma in Korea when I was, uh, like, 22. Um, grandpa, cool. grandpa just, like, passed. But she was in the hospital, right? And this is just to put this whole the culture in perspective. Is like the grandma's and she had hip surgery. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 I haven't seen her in a while. First thing she says to me, "You hungry?" Yes, bro. <laughs> like oh. that's what I'm saying. Like that's what's like crazy. And it was, Homemakers, man. It's kind of like a. It was just like a moment. Yeah, they want like, to take care of you. That's it. Like you just got out of hip surgery, grandma. And you trying to ask me if I'm hungry? Like she's getting mad at my aunt. So like, yo, why is this kid hungry? Basically, but in Korean. Yeah. And shit. And then then they all turn around and they're asking me. Like I'm good. I'm like I'm good. Because yeah, that's why. Because everyone was ninety so focused years old. You just got yeah. hip surgery. And the first thing she goes, you, you look hungry and like How starts yelling at her that? kids. See, that, that's the funny thing. Like my dad will be sitting in the living room. He goes, "You hungry?" I go, "Yeah." He goes, "Me too." What are you making me? And I'm just like, <laughs> it's 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 well, shit. I'm not that hungry. It's it was wild. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm not hungry enough to feed yeah, you no. too <laughs> For that's real. such a, it is just such a like motherly maternal like nature thing yeah. where instantly she everyone was so worried about her but in her moment, she was worried about you and then got pissed at everybody else for worrying about her and not worrying about you. It's That's in, insane. That's it, crazy cool. It's just like opinion. backwards. And it's it wild. Back, yeah, it's a little backwards. That's why I love going over there because like... You eat well? Learning culture is, is... is Learning a different culture, especially my culture, and one that I haven't been in tune with ever. And I right. really am. But like it's super interesting to see like... People actually take pride in that shit. Because, mm-hmm. like, that's the one thing I walk away with is, like, yo, like, they do it different. Well, you know yeah. what's kind of weird sometimes is I feel like, um, I feel like when you, certain certain cultures are really like that, right? Where they're like, this is us. Like, we take care of our own. Mm-hmm. I feel like, um, uh, Koreans are like that. Um, I feel like Russians are kind of like that too. Really? Um, yeah. Like oh yeah. They Russians like really are. For they're sure. really like we're together, and there are is a specific group of Americans who are like that. But I kind of sometimes feel like America is like a community college, like it's a transit school. Hey, bump the brakes there. Oh. Well, where it's like you don't really no, form I get you. No, a I know community. Exactly. Yeah. With those like people, PSU. you have like, like you have like your little it's clicks. It's so vast, dude. It's so yeah. crazy big, and people I, just. I don't know, like that—that's yeah. a thing, right? Like you could say that's Korean culture, like this is our shit. Yeah, but, like, I when get I go you. American culture, um, like I don't think of like there is home value it's hard yeah. anymore. I feel like there yeah. was a way that it used to be that way, and some people still cling on to those ideas. But and that's ideologies. where, like, you guess you could say, like the culture. So, like, it's interesting because American culture. When you were saying to say that, like to me, it's more like. That culture is giving the opportunity for all cultures, yeah, to be their own culture. 
Yeah. If that makes sense. Which yeah. is a fucking community college, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's, it's kind of wild. It's open doors to everybody else to express themselves in the way that they want to. Right. But we don't actually hold any... Our own. We don't have a, a slow... You know, we do, but like... Yeah, right. We, like, we like, like, PC, you know what I mean? Yeah. PCC. Sometimes it's like that. You yeah. Know? Right. But then other times, it's... America, you know, America. America. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, got my flag shirt, my motorcycle. Yeah. America. 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 But be, there are times where I'm like, we just don't. Yeah. We it don't yeah. fill that ballot of what other c- countries like. Which is it's, it's interesting, though, which kind of sucks, too. There's a little bit yeah, of there's a lot of hate for it, for sure. Because I'm sure yeah. intuitively, it's like, dude, that, like, it, it's different. But uh, the perspective that no one else thinks about. Well, mm-hmm. it's funny. I went on a cruise to the Caribbean two years ago. And yeah. There was like a bunch of Canadians on there and a bunch of like other like foreign people on this cruise. And so we're just like sitting there talking to these people and they're just like, oh, where are you from? I'm like, oh, I'm from like Portland. Oh, Portland, Oregon. And they're just like, oh, so like fried foods all day? I'm just like, no. <laughs> fried like, foods? Yeah, that's what, what you guys do, right? Wait, I'm just what? like, no, like. The U.S. does not just stuff their face with fried food. That's what I'm saying. Some of right? us do, but like Oregon, I feel like would be the more hippie. Yeah, well, but like, but they, they anti fried. But, but, no, no, but they didn't know like Portland, Oregon. They just knew like Oregon, United States. So they just uh, assumed. Yeah, I'm just saying. Or the when we were supposed to have that 14 inches of snow that never happened. Yeah, and the first thing that sold out was fucking kale. Yeah, dude, ridiculous. What? Yeah, kale. Dude, kale. It was blown up on the news. Kale. If you wanted kale at the grocery store, good dude, luck. Dude, kale's kale's like kale ain't bad, but kale ain't like good. Dude, you if know what's you're really stuck good? in your house for 14 <laughs> days, you're gonna be the most miserable person. Buy some Cheetos, bitch. <laughs> That's oh, what I'm dude. saying. Like you know, you know here's, this snowstorm's gonna end, right? Yeah. Like get some Cheetos. Yeah. Here's the question though. Here's the question though. With Cheetos. What kind of Cheetos do you guys eat? This is a big question here. Uh, okay. All, all kinds? No, that's a wrong answer. You gotta pick one Cheeto? Yeah. Oh, I got a cool game. Can we play a cool game? After, After you this? answer this Cheeto yeah. question, yeah. I like regular... I'm gonna go with regular Cheetos. The regular country? Because, like, th- that's just consistent. Okay. Okay, I'm not getting yeah, Flamin' Hot. Yeah, I would probably hot. buy a regular Cheeto. Yeah. yeah, the Flamin' Hots, they're okay. But Flamin' Hots got their time. Yeah, Tommy time and place. loves them, dude. Dude, the regular Flamin Crunchy hots? Cheetos. Flamin' Hots, oh. Takis, you know, the hot fucking things. No, no, thing. fuck oh, Takis. Yeah, just, Takis are not... Listen, no, I'm, she not, better not I'm not... You better not talk. Yeah, hot breath. Dude, when you wave... Mitchell's face is... Dude, but yeah, like, no, I'm no. Like, Cheetos came out with the Cheeto Puffs, then they did, like, the Cheeto Puff Twist. Both booty. I love it's all about the crunch. Puffs are so good. No, nah, it's all about the crunch though. Yeah. Regular crunchy. Uh, John, don't change your answer on uh, me. You're doing so well. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I like, kidding, I like that regular crunch. Dude, the crunchy. It is. I have most you fish. used to get so many Delicious. in the bag. Uh, yeah, but, Cheetos do not do the like ruffle things where, where they fill sixty percent of the bag with yeah. air. Yeah, dude. They don't do Cheetos that. don't mess around. No, yeah. Cheetos are like yeah, these are so cheap to produce. Real They're reasonable. Yeah, I'm fine with it. So what's your game? Yeah, let's hear this. Oh, I was just gonna ask. Um, so you got three. You're stuck on an island. Mm. Okay. You can bring one thing for entertainment, one meal to eat for the rest of your life, and one person or thing, like uh, a companion of some sort. Will that person Ooh. or thing die? I don't know. No. It's just, so, so you're stuck on an island. You get one thing, one meal, right? Okay. So like, I want to eat pizza three. What, yeah. Whenever sure. I want. Um, yeah. One thing for entertainment and one person. Oh man, entertainment wise. Yeah, entertainment. So tough. we'll start with the first one. We'll go with the meal. It's, it's, it's... All right, David, go ahead. Meal, I'm going with. Uh, I'm probably going to go with Roxy's and their teriyaki chicken. Roxy's teriyaki chicken. Dude, I love it. All right. It's mm. good, man. I was going to say, like, the fettuccine, but it also, like, plays into, like, who my companion is. So. That's true, too. So I already, I already know who my companion is. But. Mitchell, <laughs> Mitchell's like, no, nah, dude, I'm selfish, eating what I'm eating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They better like what I pick. Yeah. <laughs> they, better be happy. they better be happy that I picked them. Yeah. Huh? More for me. <laughs> yeah. um, man, what would I take to eat? Uh, Cheetos. It be, no, it would be some form of uh, pasta for sure. See, that's like what spaghetti. I thought. Like spaghetti. I thought about going with like chicken alfredo, but because I can eat spaghetti. Many times I've asked people this question, like pasta is not a thing. Dude, pasta is a hundred percent a thing. I'm trying to think. Of, this is also how my mind works. What can't I eat there? Yeah, uh, oh, that's fair like, too. I don't need to because if I was somewhere else, like if I was on like uh, like a mountain. Yeah. I'm so so see, this, is, this is how I, this is how I want you guys to think. It's like yeah. more strategically. Yeah. It's like I would love. Would be but, but like, could I eat spaghetti? For the rest oh, of my, you know, oh, spaghetti. For sure. See, I, I love spaghetti. I could stuff my face with bowls spaghetti of fettuccine Alfredo. Are you serious? Oh, fuck yeah, it's one of my favorites. Nah. What about you, bitch? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> shit just for it. And garlic bread, dude. Yeah, so good. That's some bomb. spaghetti for the. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like my answer has always been sushi. Yeah, but you could get sushi on the island. You're gonna catch fish. But no, like, but it, that then. ain't sushi. That's surviving. What the fuck are you guys talking about? We know what we're yeah, talking about. We got about. it. We're You're good. Don't on worry about an that. island in which you can catch about. fish, yeah. and then you bite the fish. That's sushi. That ain't that's sushi, survival. bro. That's survival. surviving. That's you're survivor. doing it to survive, not because you look forward to it. That's Survivor. Like, yeah, the dude, movie or the stop. show. We're done with this. Next question. Let's roll. Keep yeah, playing on so, this. Okay. Since we know just, how to yeah, play the sur- game. Just because it's survival doesn't make raw fish no longer raw fish, you weird. <laughs> <laughs> Restart. Restart. <laughs> you restart. <The> simple jacks. <laughs> you restart. <laughs> Yeah, restart this conversation. Y'all are done. All right. So since we figured out the food. Yeah. Two thirds of us have. Entertainment. Yeah, for real. No, I figured out my food. You guys just don't. I, I can agree that it's survival. But can then you guys agree that just because it's survival doesn't make raw fish no longer sushi? Anyways, entertainment. Yeah, y'all wrong as fuck. That's why you didn't say shit. Mitchell might be right. Yeah. <laughs> entertainment. Right, I'm not going to give him that entertainment. credit. I still stick with survival. Yeah, entertainment. I don't fucking know, man. Dude, this is a good one. I have a good one for this one. Yeah, D&D. Hands down. That's lame, dude. Why? That's just a lame... Why? Role-playing game can be anything you want. Anything that you're in the mood for, you're ready to play. You can do whatever. You can act. It's going to give you that social outlet to be whatever you want to be. You can? Get your mind off of that. Yeah, dude. Sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> you can be sure? whatever you want. You can play a D&D game in any setting. Sci-fi, fantasy, real life, anything. So with this entertainment question, do I get everything I need to make it work? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, 100%. but but like if you put, pick like your PS4, you wouldn't also have cable. You yeah, yeah, exactly, like exactly, you games. exactly. You yeah, got yeah. you got your PS4. That's it, and the ability to play the games. The games on the right. PS4. Dude, but not like, I, uh, but not the like internet. all the other things <laughs> yeah. that come with it. Yeah, or you could just have like. I don't know if you get in the internet. Like, I don't even like that. I think that's the only means. Like, yeah, no, fuck the internet. internet. No, no, no internet. Because like the internet's like wild, so it's. That's just Dude, I, I'm stuck on this island. Help me. Yeah. <laughs> just tweeting. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Trying to get my on You have internet. Yeah. You can't get yourself you off can't, the yeah, island. <laughs> you can't get off. Everyone's just ignoring you. Yeah. Everyone's just ghosting you. <laughs> I know. Think about that movie. Yeah. yeah. That horror Please. film. Please. Like, oh, that anxiety that you're going to have. You have the internet. Uh, you go to Instagram <laughs> Live, see all the viewers. You're just yeah. asking for help. And they're Please just help. like, keep they're growing. Like, nah. You post statuses, no one comments, no one likes yeah. on anything you post. Yeah. For all of a sudden, you were cut off yeah, from society. I would just go to I'm gonna post. go with uh, I'm gonna go with like a little like quad or ATV. Oh, that'd be fun. You're dead yeah. for sure, though. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm not trying to survive forever. I mean, you gotta get off somehow. I'm trapped on the. I didn't know getting off was my intent. Oh, uh, okay, you're right. I guess I didn't make that clear. Yeah. I brought. Um, if I'm trying to get off, I'm gonna fucking pick a yacht. Is my. I did a fishing pole. <laughs> my best thing has always been a fishing pole. Y'all what? are so dumb. No, 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 wait, no, you can <laughs> make a fishing pole. You can make a fishing pole <laughs> on the thing. No, 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 no. Hold on. You you no. pick sushi, but then you pick the fishing pole you're because you're not going to catch that. So say, what the fuck? Here's my thing. We get... We get no, no, no. No, no, no. We you need get, to restart. We, we get food every day. So, like, why are you picking your fishing pole? Because, because your entertainment, entertainment is fun. It's fun for you to I, sit I'm and fish? You. Yeah. I, hey, hey, it will be. Hey, I, okay, get, I get that. I get that. But you're on an island where you can make a fishing pole. Yeah. So and you like, get sushi for your meal. All the, right, all right. I'll no, take my no, answer no, back. No, I'm changing it. I'm changing it. Out there. I want my. I mean, I guess no point to have my camera. Why? You see, can I, take some dope ass pictures. Shark swims by. Yeah, but then what happens when your memory card Monkey? fills up? No, yeah, unlimited have, memory card. There you go. I'll give that to you. A what? Okay. Can I can Executive I upload decision. them to the internet? Like, hey, John, on oh, the we got island. Internet now. I, no, for you. Yeah, see, no fucking. Internet. I don't want to take them, dude. From we me. just we just figured it out though. What? How? John needs attention. Yeah. <laughs> she said, "I don't want to bring my camera unless people can see it." <laughs> well, because it's not because it's <laughs> scatter range right what now. What did you just figure out? That's what I figured out. You you like taking pictures, but you only like it really uh, when people be looking at them. When people benefit from them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
I would say. But, but hey, your people. This, this is all love here. Your people? What do you mean your people? He's p- it could Yeah, my him. people for <laughs> sure. It would benefit him. Sure. No, no, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. I, love, I love taking good photos of my people. Yeah. Because I know what you mean by saying that, like, just, our, just A-Town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I... Did you just call it A-Town? Yeah, A-Town. What do you mean did I just call it A-Town? I, I, I just haven't heard it in a long time, that's all. It is A-Town. God, don't come at me hot right now. We're all <sighs> friends here. There's a reason why we've known you... Not as long. <laughs> you try that one again? I was gonna say least long. <laughs> I've known David forever, probably yeah, dude. one of the longest. But I, I feel like I've known people for a really long time. I feel like, like we I all come, know each other. Let's get back to his answer real quick. He's trying to. He's getting rid of this right now. Oh, yeah. He's uh, so fishing pole. What? Fishing pole and sushi. Fishing pole and sushi. What the fuck? Nautical theme right now. I thought we were on the attention. No, no, we were, but we're coming back to this okay. right now. What about it? What about it? What about it? Well, just why a fishing pool? Fishing just, pool. Because it's a source of entertainment and food. Okay. I'll give you that. Okay. That's fine. I'll give you that. That's fine. Companion. Um, It has to be like a female of some sort. Yeah. Someone I vibe with. You're probably right, right? I am like, right. you gotta, yeah, you gotta do your business. You, you, well, like that and like... Well, now my answer is fucked. What were you going to say? You got to have a female like it. Man's like, best friend? Yeah. That's fair. Beagle. That's a fair answer, though. Take a little beagle. That's why I asked No, that's gonna, a totally cool answer. That's why I asked if yeah. it's going to survive. It's a totally cool answer. Because, like... But, like, could you survive? So, um... I got to take a female. So, there's this show on Netflix. I think yeah. it's on Netflix. Maybe. Mm. It's called Alone. And what the, it's a it's a reality TV show where What's they that drop, funny view, John? <laughs> they drop they drop people off on a, in a specific yeah. place and it's whoever stays out there the longest I think I've lives heard of this. Or, or wins right not lives they all live <laughs> <laughs> but they but they Three legit days. could die they had to film everything they right. dropped this the first season they were in on um, Vancouver Island they dropped this dude off within five minutes there were like three bears above him in trees real bears real, real bears real fucking bears real dude. bears yeah and so he had to call on a sat phone pick me the fuck up dude oh, they're bears man. yeah dude. No shot. No shot. Yeah, so they Fuck do all that. this stuff, right? And right. some of them build really crazy shit. Like, they could... And one guy, he had fish... He had so much fish, figured out how to smoke it, to preserve it, and all this stuff. But he wasn't eating it because he wanted to rash, like, yeah. ration it. Wow. And he ended up losing so much weight that they had to, like, medic him out because he was just so low. Even though he had all this food, Sounds like he just wasn't eating it. It's sort of like that, but it's based off of longevity who can stay there long it's not like you're there for seven days it's some people are there for 90 fucking days dude Jesus. by themselves and the biggest thing that always makes the them point leave, is to win right the point is to say they're the longest so but the the thing that most people the reason why they leave isn't because of lack of food it isn't because they can't sleep it's because there's nobody there to talk to so after 90 days of only talking to yourself in the camera that's all it is yeah they go fucking crazy I, the only contact that they have with other humans is when like they because they come in to like check them and make sure that they aren't aren't dead <laughs> yeah, and make right. sure that they are like not at an unreasonably low mm-hmm. uh, weight and that they're good enough to continue yeah because they still have to make sure that they're you know healthy healthy con- healthy contestants right so they like they like cherish those moments because they can actually talk to people but they won't really converse with them all too much other than we're going to check your blood pressure we're going right. to do this because Just the whole the bare point minimum. is to be alone yeah. so they're kind of going nuts so that's what I'm saying is a dog would make sense but also might actually like make you go crazy so yeah. a person so might be the, the I need thing. a person at work when my boss leaves for like a couple yeah. hours and I'm just there with the dogs I find myself like real quick have a conversation with the dogs and I'm just like hey what's up fuck. not even that dude yeah. but like you, the you're dog, going crazy for sure the, holy the dog shit was, like one of the dogs is you too, big mercury poisoning you're going to be you're, you're dead all that fish oh <laughs> <laughs> You're going Dude, nuts. I feel like I had Rock hella good chicken. answers, but y'all like just made me feel yeah, like I had shit, on shit them. answers. <laughs> like, like just straight up, I should restart this game. John's over here like I'm gonna take Cheetos. My entertainment will be like I don't know. I didn't Nudie say Max. Che- and then, uh, <laughs> Nudie Max. Let's see, my companion will be some blow up nah, doll. I guess you don't need I don't Nudie know. Max. You have an imagination. Three, three. <laughs> yeah, creativity. Well, yeah. <laughs> Dude, fuck! I wish you guys would watch Rick and Morty. Because there's this port where, like... It's Rick and Morty. Oh, there's my God. Port? I know. I realized I said port. Fuck. I was going to take that line. Too. I did. Well, I did. There's okay. this part where, uh, oh. <laughs> where they're, like, they're trapped in this this weird world. And Morty, the kid, he goes running off by himself. And then, like, he meets up with Rick later. And he's like, you need to figure it out, man. Like, I saw an extra curvy tree today. And I got so turned on. And I'm just, like, <laughs> just picturing, you know, like, stuck on an island. One yeah, of the three of us is going to see. Yeah, like, the tree kind of looks like a lady. Yeah. And you're like, oh, shit. Damn, those melons look good up there today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, coconuts and stuff. Yep. There's a lot of jokes probably in there that oh, we can unpack later. For sure. You guys got a cool setup now. 
It's all right. Yeah, it no, does, I would like to have it does more, its job. I would like to have a more permanent setup. Yeah. Once we get, once the house gets sold and we're in a, a place, we'll have a more permanent. That's what I'm place. saying. Like it's it's pretty crazy. When did you guys start? May twenty seventh. Okay. Wow. January, February, March, April, May. So what? Two months. Why the fuck did you count from January yeah. to figure that out? No <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Little secret, little secret, little secret, little Please. secret. When it comes in months, okay, months and like, there's another thing. I can't. You can't just jump. Oh, right maybe to the it. ABCs. Yeah, I can't like just like if you say May, I'm about to be like January, February, March. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. Every single time, that's why I was just like you know trying to count. Oh, what's, okay. the, what's the eight months? <laughs> I see what you're saying. So I gotta be like January, February, March, April, May, May June. So like yeah. yeah, two months. Yeah, it's been two. Well, we've had one, only one full month. Mm-hmm. June was our only full month because May was only like four days. Yeah, it was very really. It was yeah. like the twenty seventh to the thirty first. That was it. And we had 70, 70 some downloads in May, and then we had five hundred and three downloads in June. So how long was this in the works before? Not too long. Because like, no. I've always said, like I think, I think to was, you at least, yeah, you said to me a lot. I've always said to you, like, bro, like, I, like I. Like to start a podcast, start a podcast. Like you and Jesse, I always felt like you and Jesse really need to. You've always been the type that like you, you've always wanted to do something more creative. Yeah, but then I just I've, I've, I've we never, like, nah. never done it, never done it. That's we what I said. All bark, no bite. Yeah. yeah, boom. Yeah, we were at the because we were going to the gym like every day for three months. Yeah, something like that. About that, and then we just kept talking about. It. We had like these good, funny conversations. Where, like we were both laughing. I'm like, dude, like dude, why don't we actually do like, this? Yeah, two great the personalities. Like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, and then like. And then I think the, the final defining moment was uh, we were doing incline bench. <laughs> and, dude, for some reason, like, I just hit a wall and this weight got so heavy. And, like, I felt my face go just... Oh, it looked like he had stroke face. Dude, yeah. I looked like I was, like, shitting myself. His eyes Why? started drooping down to dude, his chin. tired or, like... No, I was just, no, he was just struggling. <laughs> yeah, I was struggling. And, like, <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> so... Let, let me give you this, dude. 100%. Uh, this is the yeah, play by play. Get it. This is exactly what happened. Like... Mitchell started me, <laughs> Mitchell's like making me push myself which was great like I mean because yeah, he never did dude yeah like he I was, never really? did I, yeah I stayed like a he comfortable a, weight I feel like um, like David uh, he he gets in his head maybe a little bit talking like I'm not sitting right here yeah I don't care just David definitely now. gets in his head yeah oh, big time 100% so, like, 100,000 like he stayed like, analysis he was, paralysis he, he was like um, squatting the same weight for like three months I'm like David I baby that shit though and dude same thing with, with bench I'm like David Cause I went from like barely anything to like I think I did 185 bench press, which I'd never done like before. Mm-hmm. I done it one time because I, I never worked bench because basketball. When the fuck do I do this? Yeah, never. 100 percent passing yeah, so like this. Miss, yeah, but the ball doesn't weigh 185 no, I, fucking hey, pounds. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so I didn't need it. That's true. So um, it is interesting. But I got to a, I did 185 three times mm-hmm. or something like that, and nope, I was like times. stoked. And he still like he was already there. Before I was, but then I had like caught up because he wasn't pushing himself. Well, I was, I'm also a big practitioner in form too. Like squats, I stay. Uh, That's I just st- another excuse, dude. No, uh, you can call it what you want, but like I fucked my right hamstring up time. so bad. Like, yeah, okay. Dave, you're so much more talented than you know you are, dude. Stop it. You, like, I, like, stop I don't it. care. Dude, like, but, I'll no, say it. But here's the thing, though. Like with squats, though, like I fucked myself up enough with squats, I never felt like my form was super great. So like I'll do. I well, live in, like the 185, 185, 205 area. Just it's, like it's great. It's not great. There's a lot of work to be done. But Where? I give you the judge of that. Where? Okay. He, I goes perfect. Down, he goes down past parallel. His back stays straight. His chest stays up. <clears throat> and he comes up. It's perfect. There's nothing. It doesn't bend. Smooth. He doesn't come yeah, this way. Do it comes ink. straight up. Yeah. It's fine. It's the wobbly knees. I wobble. Are your knees pointed out? They're no. pointed out, yeah. Okay. But it's also like it's the natural bare, form for me. Barely. It should be. They, like, I, mine are like that. Pointed yeah, out. They're, yeah, they're slightly sumoed, but they don't come in. Was yeah. that concave? They don't yeah. concave really Good. at all. But that's always going to be the case when you come up and down. Like, you, your knees are going to move a, a little bit. And what you'll notice is more weight will actually allow you to keep the form better. Yeah, okay, maybe that's what I'm thinking. Because it holds you down. Anyways, so back to where the David whole thing doesn't started. like this conversation. <laughs> no, I, I love this stuff. I'm fine with it, but like. I don't even know where it started. It started with uh, me not pushing the, myself with the made. incline. <laughs> yeah, so like, so we're doing incline, and I just like I feel this weight come down, and I'm trying to get it back up, and I'm just like I gotta do whatever it takes to get it up there, and it just fucking like yeah, dude, I my face, I feel my Where face. Were you though? Go, were you you're spotting me? I was laughing. <laughs> this is the you're part. Like, like, I was laughing. Wrong. No, I was so, laughing. Like, I'm, getting, <laughs> I'm getting to the point where like I'm getting ready to need a spot, and I look up and I just see Mitchell's <laughs> face just. He's dead to the left, laughing his face off. And I finally, like, I get the weight up and I put it back. And he's just like, 
Oh, we're not talking about that. He's just laughing. Won't acknowledge <laughs> you know how it. hard it is to lift when your partner is laughing? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Jesse does it. Did, used to do it all the time. Like, I'm yeah. trying to get a spot, and, like, I'll look up and just be like, yeah, making a face some or something. I used to, when oh. I worked out with Brad Worth, when I look up and he would be looking down at me, his face would look hella weird. <laughs> and it would make me, it make me laugh. And then you can't. And they can't do anything. Uh, but, yeah, dude, that's, that's basically where it started. It was, like, we just had enough laughs, and, like, we talked about so much shit. I was, like, why don't we record this? Yeah, like, why don't we just sit down for an hour yeah. or an hour and a half? And then whatever. it finally, like, Super and then he, he sent me a text, like, yeah, let's do the podcast. I'm like, cool. And then the other thing, too, though, is, like, then I get into it. I'm like, okay, what are we going to do here? <laughs> you me, do. I'm, I'm, more kinda, you I'm just do. freewheeling it. Because, like, I'm, when you want something, you get it. I'm like, obsessive. whether it's MMA, it's, it's MMA, it's Twitch, People it's say it's this. obsessive, right? I say it's passion. It is. It's obsession, though, for sure. There's an obsession with yeah, that. Yeah, but, but well, I there's nothing wrong with that. No, nothing no, at all. Th- there's not nothing wrong with it for me, but sometimes it affects other people because I, that's all I care about. And yeah. People are like, well, what about me? I like, 100% see that. That's how yeah. I was at the studio when it first started. Yeah, I think, but that's the thing is that it's, it's a little bit on the person who's obsessed, but it's also on the people around them to... Know what they're if, getting into with the person that's obsessed? That and to know that that obsession isn't gonna it's gonna be there but it w- isn't always gonna be at the peak that it's at yeah, right now right. because with any relationship whether it's with a person or with a job yeah. or a passion there's always a honeymoon stage and that honeymoon stage eventually ends yeah then it's time for real shit then it's time to figure it out yeah and um, it was it's such a bummer because I had this uh, Joe Rogan clip that I had sent David and mm-hmm. we talked about it last time but Joe Rogan basically says like you just have to keep trying like try and fail and I feel like this is a product of that because I went from um, like not doing really anything. Well, I went from writing, like writing, trying to write a book to then. Oh, that's right. Yeah. To then, dude, you were doing hella shit, bro. I always, I want you to know that like, I was always been like, dude, like regardless of how close we've been, like you were always doing, trying to do something. Yeah, he I'm always hearing sure. something in the background. Like Mitch was up to something right now. Yeah. I always try. So I went from that creative outlet to then streaming uh, to then like D and D and then to podcast. podcast, and so like I've tr- I've really tried to find where I fit. You have failed I think to to find to to find something else. Yeah, yeah something you gotta be okay with. See, I think it's funny too because like I feel like failure has such like a negative connotation, but I think it's such a good progressive. Some of the thing. best things that could happen. Yeah, to you, but man. like me too. Like I hear the word fail, and I'm like, dude, fuck, you just failed at that. Like, well, don't ever try yeah. it again. And like that's just my mindset. Think about like, like how many times we have failed, or like where time feels like a piece. Of, like right, like, you're down in the dumps, but like it ends up being probably the best time, for best sure. moment that you needed in order to get to where you're at now. Well, the yeah. other funny thing too is like I love the game of baseball, and that's just straight up a game. A failure. You go three for ten. Yeah. That's a great, great job. And you're just like thirty percent cool because that cool. actually that's a fucking F. yeah. Three out of ten, thirty percent. If you're batting three hundred, that's good. Yeah, that's a killer. See, that's a crazy perspective, dude. Yeah, batting three hundred meaning you're on base three out of no, ten no, no, times. No, 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 no. That uh, means you, you hit thirty percent. You get a hit. Yeah, get, yeah. So you get on base. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you hit to get on base, not just getting on base. Like if you walk. Then you're getting on base. That doesn't count no. as to your ten. No, no, or Maybe. did it hit? So you could go over O with four walks. You love baseball, don't you? I love it. Why, like, dude? So good question. From the pitching standpoint, like there's so many variables that go into it. Like when you over, you were a pitcher. Yeah, I never got to that point. I just threw the ball fucking straight. No, 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 dude. Like watching major league games, like you'll watch these guys that are overthrowing. And like everything's so out of whack, mm-hmm. like where their hips fire, where they land, where their shoulders mm-hmm. are, like where the head's well, going. It's all just and the arm angle changes, dude. I, it's unreal. Yeah, it's so I mean, fun, and it's such like a game of a lot of mechanics. Too. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I love. I, I love the that. mechanics. It's, a, it's the same way with soccer for me. Like I get that it's more complex. The same thing with like DJing, like, yeah. like creating music. Right. I get that it's more complex, but I don't under. It doesn't make sense for me of why people really get into it. Cause I'm like. I guess well, okay, no, 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 no. someone who a layman like I feel like certain sports like basketball or MMA like without knowing how like you don't have to do it to know that it's like super challenge like to tell that it's super challenging right. but like when you're watching baseball and someone pitch you don't go oh his hips fucked up oh his shoulder was okay. that way yeah but yeah. like someone who knows does yeah. but you don't have to be in the know to know basketball that it was a bad shot yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I mean, like, you know what I mean? so I, I guess like the way I see it too is also like D&D like you just roll dice and pick what to do right yeah 100% that's what it is but I mean like it's more complex than that too a little bit but yeah so yeah I mean yeah. it's kind of like the same thing but like oh yeah 100% like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so I mean like, just for me too though like being around it like I mean it all goes back to skateboarding for me if you really want to start somewhere it's like because learning how to kickflip 
that was like once you learn how to ollie like okay ollie's so cool suck. but like learning how to kick flip like there's so much that goes into it and then like to sum it down like you just ollie but you flick your foot there's off a, the board to you spin like it and bring it back with a high skill ceiling that's what you like uh, i don't know I don't yeah, know, dude. But I mean, I guess maybe, yeah. But like baseball, that's a high skill ceiling. Yeah, skateboarding, well, I mean, skateboarding super fucking high. But like, yeah, you know, you're right. You're uh, right. So high that we don't even know where the ceiling is. Yeah, that's true. Because people keep pushing the boundary. No, they do. Because humans are unreal. Ske- any of that <laughs> like, stuff. Yeah. What's funny too? I went, <laughs> yeah. I went down the YouTube deep dive of uh, this like surfing documentary, and like, dude, just watching dude, these guys there's a cool surf. One Jesse just showed me. Yeah. Um, I'll show it to you afterwards. Okay. I but yeah, I like, know. dude, it's it's unreal. I fucking love it. I, I think I love just like. The shit that is not... It takes, like, years and years yeah, and years. High school like, ceiling. I got to pee yeah. everywhere back. All right. So... I think you like the details of everything. Yeah, like, well, I think the other part, pitching, too, is, like... like, there's multiple variables that yeah, come the, into play. Yeah, but, yeah, but it's also, like, there's not just one right way to do it, either. Yeah. You know, like, especially, like, with golf, too. That's same true. thing. There's a million different variables. But, like, and everything has to be, like, in sync. And it's, like, you don't get the same shit every day. Yeah. You know, like, one day you could wake up and, like, you're just feeling everything and it's perfect. And then the next day it's, like, nothing feels right. But you still have to figure out a way to perform. And that is, like, every... I mean, that's every day fucking for everyone, I feel like, too. Yeah. No, for sure. But that's but how like, we... that's, that's just where, like, the mindset came to me. I think that's also part of the reason that, like, I kind of s- want to do, like, the creative shit. I feel like you are creative. No, your I... Your body just is... Your well, I, just, I just need to do it. Yeah. yeah. Like, you find a way yeah. to not be creative. Yeah, I know. That's what it is, man. I, I just... I'm scared Homeboy's to Homeboy's creative lead. as hell, and he goes, I want to go be coder, and I'm like, what? You can be creative coding. <laughs> come on. Put some new colors in there. Dude, skip. come on. But no, dude, like, watching, like, yeah, baseball, like, I fucking love it because of that, like... Why don't you do something more related to baseball? I don't know. I don't know. It's what I, it's it's what I do to enjoy, like kind of like a decompress kind of thing. You watch it, yeah. You actually enjoy watching. I baseball. love watching baseball. See, I, I can't. I don't. But see, here's the thing, too. It, it all goes back to what I just talked about. But like, I love the process when you talk about the process. Yeah, and yeah. Stuff. but like, like but I, cool I'm not just me. watching somebody throw the ball. Like I'm watching yeah. like the foot up, the knee drive, the hip that fire, is, the arm. Like so, it's not just I'm watching every step that leads up to throwing the I ball. I guess it's like a lot. Like when I'm watching videos, like Jesse, or like and looking at just random cool you videos. You break it down, right? I'm like, bro, did you see that cut? With mm-hmm. like that sound and like yeah. nobody mm-hmm. knows what I'm talking about. They're just about. like, all right, cool, yeah. So like, like, yeah, same thing with like Illustrator too. Yeah. Like, I'm starting to like figure out like I look at a final logo and I think of all the different ways that you could have gotten it there. Yeah. So here's the final point, but like, how many different layers of type is there? How Dude, many different effects? How many come, colors? How much? All that shit. When it comes to creating someone on Illustrator, I drag and drop and cut random so many times just to see if I can get something. Yeah. And like ten out nine out of ten times, like I'll accidentally delete something that creates like what's gonna oh, happen. Oh, dude, it's so which funny. is super dope. Yeah, like it's funny too. I've started giving myself a timer. We're like, cool. You have this project to do. Yeah, like you have this project to do. Because I I'm a huge analysis paralysis kind of guy, right? Where it's like, you ask me to make something, I'll think of like five, ten different ways and like all the combinations to do it. All right, cool. You're on the clock for ten minutes. Go. Yeah, also, you, you need don't that. have that. I, dude, I really do. <laughs> I do 100%. And, like, I'm an overthinker. Why do you say that? Because if he didn't have it, he wouldn't get shit done. I can tell. A squirrel. Yeah. I'm a squirreler. I'm not a... I wouldn't call myself a squirreler. I, I think I, I just... I get distracted so quick. I can get focused on shit, but I get focused on all the possibilities to make it happen. Like, yeah. you need me to move something from point A to point B. Like, oh, cool. Well, I have my hands. I have this wheelie cart. Or I have, you know, whatever. Like, perfectionist? Yeah, it's hundred yeah. percent that. Yeah. I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my videos. But like, but it's there's like, certain things that you can perfect. But there's also like, per- perfection is a word that we know, but it also means nothing because there's none. Yeah, there's no what such is? Thing. Yeah, yeah, what is perfection? Like, what's perfect to you? You could show a per what you think is a perfect yeah, video. Yeah, and he might I take fucking that back. I take that. Yeah, I take that but, back. But that's something it's that true. as someone who's creative <clears throat> needs to know. Yeah. So if you're trying to do something and you love it. And somebody else doesn't like it. That doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that it doesn't go for that person. Also, except too, if you're making a product for that person, then obviously you need to right. find something that they like. Yeah. So it's the thing with like writing. So I feel bad for like George R. R. Martin who did Game of Thrones, right? Why? Because he hasn't finished the series, but the TV series has ended. So it has been the books have been in limbo for so long that you know, you know for a fact with how many fans that it's had and how many. 
Reddit threads and shit yeah. that people have created have either guessed the ending completely or have created cooler ways to end it than what he originally thought of. And so that... I, also, he's kind of fucked. That's what I think. He's kind of fucked. See, I think, oh. it's, I think it's kind See, of... that's why I love the internet, dude. Because <laughs> the internet the internet gives everyone the opportunity right? to, like, literally... For sure. Like, show what you have. And there's like, some good There's I, some good stuff. I 20% of the internet's great, though. Yeah. 80% of it else is just mm-hmm. trash. Not oh, so great. Yeah. in that 20. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Are you know what's really times? funny, though? Um, have you ever been to the night market? Uh-uh. Okay, so I, I went for the first time, like, two weeks ago. At, in two weeks Thursday ago? night market? No, 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 the Portland night market. Um, but like, like a good guy, place to get killed. No, no, no. It's cool. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of like local vendors like selling their own stuff selling and like heroin. that Does kind of Colby stuff. There? Colby and Michelle. No, she wasn't there at this one. Oh. I don't know. Um, they're always at some. Night they are. They do. They're killing thing. it. Yeah. But um, so I met like a Portland artist, uh, Aaron Draplin of the Draplin oh, Design Company. On Instagram, dude. I fucking love that guy. Right. And so like to meet him was like it was cool. It was super dope. Super chill guy. Like exactly how he is in the videos that like he puts out and shit. I need to find him. Um, dude, he's tight. But so I sat there and I was talking to him and he was just like asking me if I'm into like what I'm doing and I just told him like I'm trying to I'm taking his like Skillshare classes and trying like build yeah. that knowledge and all Many that shit. Like, he's actually grind? so a dude that like you like you know no 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 I don't from the know internet. him yeah from I the don't, internet well he's, he's Portland based and they, they match on yeah, Grindr yeah, too I, so no, it was fuck cool. off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like grinder. Is that like a new entrepreneur app oh, or something? God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. get that grinder. <laughs> he probably gave me like the coolest piece of advice. He's out there and he's just like, whenever you're doing like your creative shit, do it for you and keep it as a hobby. Because like once you have to do that client shit, I hate it. It's so true, bro. Yeah. I, feel, yeah. I, I have yeah, but, felt right. that too. But that also, goes against your hobby can become a yeah. job that never becomes it's a job. It's very no, contradicting. Sure. Well, he, he's not saying, like, don't make it a job. At least how I interpret it. He's not saying that. But he's always saying, like, do something for you, though. Yeah, too. you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's 100%. certain things that I can film, bro, and, like, I don't get, I don't get like, frustrated the editing. I don't get frustrated right. filming. Like You get frustrated with the customers. No, not even like the customers. Like, like I don't. There's certain things I don't get excited for to film. So, like, mm. my passion isn't the fact that I get to hold a camera and like film. Like, I don't like. I don't care about that. Right. Like, I love filming. Like, my number one thing is like filming our friends. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I just like that's the most. Of yeah, the thing you did with us on the boat was well, cool. Dude, yeah, like, that's totally random. Yeah. And, like, but like, I feel like that's two birds one stone because like, a you get a film. And it's like what you're enjoying, what you're passionate about, but also too like you're spending time capturing like memories with yeah, friends like, to and share that's what, like, with I them. Do. Like I want when we're ninety years old, like I want to be like, yo, check this shit out. Remember this? And uh, Jesse's gonna be like, what? Yeah, I was all, say, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, Paul Jesse be like, damn, I wish. You that know how cool that's there. gonna be? I'll show you this uh this video. Um remind me when we get done. I'm gonna show you this video and you're gonna Is die. It me? No. Well Dang. you watched some of it uh on Sat Friday with the basketball stuff, but I found like a specific clip of Jesse that's like exactly <laughs> what you're saying. And that's what I was like, it's gonna be, it's gonna be super dope, it's gonna be super exciting to like so, be able to yeah. see all that. So for David and for people who don't know what we're talking about, we used to go over oh, yeah. in the summer <laughs> to Brad Worth's um, house mm-hmm. and he had this a pretty long, or, or I guess wide uh, driveway that he had one basketball hoop on the left side and one basketball hoop on the right. And it was like, Five steps. Oh, is this where they, you posted like Jesse was bullying up Zach I or did, something? I yeah, did, I did. Yeah. 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 yeah, but like we used to go there like yeah, literally every day, and we would fit. We, we don't. We just film it, and it was yeah. just like people dunk because we changed the hoop to like seven feet, so like every person could just get postered. And it was just Jesse talking time. shit the whole the time. time. But, <laughs> That's um, such a Jesse thing to do. Dude, he was talking mad shit. But there's a clip of Jesse like holding the camera, and he like says stuff <laughs> like he's like talking and then he like turns it to himself and then says something and he does the exact thing that like what you're talking about is like you would get to the point where Jesse would watch it when he's 90 and be like what the fuck was I thinking yes, I yeah can't. that's dope yeah it was really fun and that that stuff is you know it's nostalgic and that it has a lot of value. What does nostalgic Dude. mean? Like uh, remembering bring, from the past. Okay. Yeah, just like bring back that the word. And I'm like, oh, like I don't know yeah. what that means. Oof, I don't know what that like what was some like for Mitchell and I like on the last episode we were talking about like, these rumble robots and like it just brought back this huge feeling of like fun and yeah, like enjoyment like nostalgia we yeah like the boxing ring thing no 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 no, 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 no but no, that no. would be something because it's not really around you uh, would remember and you yeah. was like nostalgic yeah. nostalgic yeah okay yeah oh, come on neighbors podcast learn some words there you go alright nostalgic we got Kermit down too for him or Recluse that's Kermit? what it was Recluse Rec- well he thought I said Kermit I think yeah cause he said a frog <laughs> 
<laughs> so I learned what a hermit educational means. podcast. I learned huh? what recluse means. Yeah. Don't remember, but I learned it, and I learned nostalgia. What? Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Yeah. Nostalgia. 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 That's yeah. what I mean. Oh fuck! Nope. That's awesome. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> What I was gonna say though. Yeah. Do you have sound effects? That was him. Me. What other sounds can you make? Uh, he does like farting noises all the fucking time. I don't know why, but that's what happens. Did it, did it, so it's uh, gonna happen when the house sells. I'm like, when it sells? Yeah. Well, wherever the new place is, we'll set something up that's more permanent. We're gonna meet at a spot so in the middle, of like, probably like a park with power outlets, and just go for it. Every time time. So like, kind of like how this Pitch is set tent, up. Just like this do doesn't it. move, obviously. So we would have another spot that is mm-hmm. like that. We I'll buy like a IKEA desk and set it up to be more permanent. Dude, my dad's got a bunch of time. He could probably just build some. Yeah. I'm just kidding. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> IKEA. Because he will perfect like that a, shit. A you think I'm a perfectionist, dude? Oh my god, we were working, we we're building a deck. And he's like, all right, we're gonna square dude. this thing off, and I'm just like, fuck. And Squaring dude, off is is fine. It's not that bad. No, it's fine, normal. Yeah, but like we spent probably like a couple hours, like, oh my squ- dude, it's way too long. To perfectionist, man. Perfectionist. <laughs> yeah, talking about the guy who, whose dad does decks and yeah, yeah, yeah. He's dude, like, I know, I know. Like, perfectionist, <laughs> man, dude. Jesse be like, Jesse be like, what the. F- yeah, he would. Yeah. He probably listened to this and been like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, like, hey, Dave, like, John doesn't know what he's talking about either because, yeah. like, I really don't. Like, when I worked on Dex and Fences, it was all about, like, I was more of, um a, like, just a grunt guy. Like, Dude. I just carry shit for people. I love being the grunt. It's easy. Like, oh, I'm all about it. it's my job. I know what my job is. Like, Stay Jesse, in your lane, right? Jesse, you go do your thing. Like, you can build that deck. <laughs> Dude, you know what's really funny? So, when I was working at the reserve, I think I was there, like, a year or two before my dad. Then my dad started working there. Mm-hmm. Well... I Wait, got a, I got your a little dad t- started working on the reserve? Yeah. Do what? Marshall. Are you just like, cr- no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's a dude, that was Marshall, just word Marshall, association. No, uh, you said Marshall and okay. his first thought was Mark, so he said it. Yeah. Dude, we gotta get like ink it. blots for him and shit. Yeah. What do you see? First thing that comes to mind. Go. I love Camera, doing that. So car. Fun. Deck. Um, but no, so like, there would be times where like, in, in events, we would need the help of the Marshalls. And I'd be like, oh, my dad's working today? Get arts out of your head right now. <laughs> we, I, I would need the help. Dude, that's back. hilarious. Uh, Mark, you uh, you got five minutes? And so, like, my dad would just come over and, like, I would just put him to work. Dude, Did your dad best. listen to you? Yeah, it was his job to listen to me. That's kind of crazy. Love it. Yeah, it was tight. I, I do loved that. it, man. <laughs> but same time, too, like, there'd be times where, like, there'd be this cute girl in the car. He'd be like, oh, yeah, I got to go to break. Mm-hmm. But, like, Dave, he'll drive you back out. And I'm just like, dad. Yeah, that's dad. Dude, <laughs> fucking man. Thank dad. And then the whole ride out back. Like, so, you having fun? Okay, cool. Oh, here's your whole. Bye. How long did you work there for? Oh, Jesus, dude. Like 2012 to 2015, 16. When did we reconnect? I really don't remember. Dude, I, don't, I think it was like recently, crunch, like back crunch. at Crunch, yeah. Crunch and Crunch um, so Yeah, so like I worked, I started doing the reserve as a like summer gig through college. And then I was doing it for like two or three years after that full time. And then I was What did you graduate in college with? Uh, sociology. I had every intention to go back for my master's and I, I wanted to do it. I thought you were an art major. No. Like God, graphic. No. Nah. I didn't start doing that until Product I... Product design. Nope. Didn't start doing that until... So you didn't uh, go to school for it either? No. I didn't go to school for it either. I know. None of us did. This is why I signed up for like I all these classes and shit to like force myself to learn it. I went to school for a year. I did, so... Yeah. yeah, but you gotta play football. Yeah, was it worth it? Who knows? Was I mean, it, I think so. No, was it? Mm-hmm. Looking back at it, like, if you were to stop after high school... Like, me, I knew majors was never in my in my thing but like I got a chance to go this play this is it's gonna be like hard to explain but like I don't know it's interesting cause like football was my life but mm-hmm, it's also mm-hmm. like what not anymore though but what it, exactly like but the cost the cost that I am enduring now mm-hmm. because of my want to play football like was it really worth it at the end of the da- at the end of the day I don't know so was going really on for those know. next like two or three years making those memories and like new friends was that <sighs> like Cause to me, like I, I like I said, like, I knew baseball was never gonna be like a full time like MLB job, but like to go on for two years and like get to do something that not many kids get to do and get paid school wise yeah. for it, like it would I mean, be cool to like my dream was to always like be paid to play because mm-hmm. like I always went to school, I always paid to play the sport, right. you know. Um, but after college, I kind of realized like it never got better than like high school ball. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Was that's it just like the, was, was it just like the group that you were with? It was just, just kinda... everyone, like that whole team, like regardless of like how close maybe myself and whoever it may be, mm-hmm. like we were all boys. Like mm-hmm. we, no matter yeah. what, whoever is on that team, no, whoever, even if I haven't talked to you in like ten years, guarantee that like they could hit any of us up yeah. and like we'll be we'd be there for and them. see what you're talking about right now is exactly what Clackamas was for me so that's why I think yeah. like those two years was absolutely worth it cause yeah. like my apartment freshman year me and Jake like yeah. dude our door was never locked was we had fun. people sleeping on the couch the floor under our tables like it's different. and we were just playing Call of Duty all day long yeah. but going to class Call of Duty practice Call of Duty party and do you think that was better. because of baseball though well baseball like brought us together so like without playing baseball mm. I wouldn't have gotten that experience yeah like without playing baseball you wouldn't have gone to Clackamas mm mm-hmm. Mm. Would have gone straight to a four yeah, year. That was something I never got dorms. from from college. Was that? But then I went to uh, Amsterdam, and I kind of had like. When did you go to f- Amsterdam? 2014. How long? Three months. I lived there for three months. It's tight. We kind of like disconnected after high school a little bit, huh? Everyone kind of does, but like also. But you know, what's cool is that we we all back now. Like. Yeah, it always it, right? comes back. It took, Dude, it took nothing for us to be back. Right? It's real funny. It's how no, it took works. one thing. James's wedding. Okay, you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. That's what it took. It didn't take, but after that, it was like little it to no effort. Yeah. Well, that's the thing was like, well, everyone has their own stuff. So like, you know, if you have football and you're in Newburgh. Yeah. And I have full-time work. Like, it's so hard to connect with someone. Like, it's almost impossible to hang out with James because he's so far gone in Newburgh and he's married. Yeah. So he has... Like life, he has that shit, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like he has to, he has to do those things. Yeah. Um, which is fine. I respect him for it. Just kidding. Yeah. Totally Damn. Totally kidding. Totally kidding. See, though, I can't wait though. Like, I, like, yeah. If you know James, <laughs> what? I can't to wait to like. John wants to be married. <laughs> Tell me why you and Tanya are always the ones that are like sitting by me, and like, "Damn, yeah. I'm like, I hell was like." like <laughs> Yeah, he, we were on the boat, and he was super sad. He's like, I want that. Uh, I wasn't super sad. He's like, he's like, I want that. Oh, my <laughs> God. Send your text, bro. I want that. Yeah, I didn't even enough. say that. Bro, let me get like, that. Damn, I want that's that. tight. Yeah. That's tight. But, uh, but he knows you can read that deeper. But that's what happens uh, when you become an adult, man. You just got so much shit that you have to do, and people, like, for me, like, when it was streaming, it was I needed to work and make money mm-hmm. needed to stream to make money then my friends wanted to see me and then my family wanted to see me and then if I had a girlfriend so my girlfriend has like so much shit to handle but I'm, I've always been a hobby person yeah. so like if I have a job because if I don't like the job that I'm doing but I don't feel like there's a clear path on how to get out like a, a, a path that even if it's a risk like it would make sense to try you're super passionate. I want to do shit when you're turned I have on. hobbies and stuff when Dude, you're turned on about something like when you first when we first started talking about buying a house like you instantly turned up work. You turned up your savings. Well, I still have, yeah. That's what I mean. Like instantly, boom! It's like a switch. Not a lot of people can do that. Besides my car, I'll have all my debt paid off next yeah, month. Yeah, because like you that's like because that's ignited like kind of like a fire. In yeah, like, it's like I don't, you know, like I want my own shit. Like when I when James will send me pictures of like what he's doing to his backyard. I'm like, oh same. fuck! I'm like, dude, I want to put in like a Bluetooth surround sound speakers in my house, just Bluetooth. I want a dope setup, dude, and do some shit. Like I want, I don't, I'm on my own thing. I'm on my own right. pad. You I want know. like a lot of land? You feel like? I would, but. Ideally, uh, like yeah, the first home. Ide- ideally, this is what would happen. Yeah. Was it, what, give me that. Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah run that. Pro, pro, pro. <laughs> I, ideally, I would try to connect with like five friends or a, a, not a specific group, but like couples. We set, a, up, we set up like an investment group. Well, we're Go out. Buy we're out because we're not couples. Ten yeah, acres. Unfortunately. But like you'll have one eventually. <laughs> Will I? Yeah. I'm going to die alone. That's fine. God damn. Just kidding. <laughs> John's sucking the shit out of that straw. <laughs> um, to buy some like like ten acres, and then all of us like build a house, and own then build neighborhood. and build yeah like your own shit. That'd be like, so sick. Build, like, a you want to build a you want to build a cult? No, a town baby. I want to build I want to build a small family of people who with like like minded who want to like. Whenever I watch this is friends, how cults get started. No, because we're not, like, fucking know, worshiping but like, shit. Like, but, like, I, I wish I had enough money to buy a neighborhood so, like, all the homies and their families can move in. For like, sure. Like, kind of the same yeah. thing. Yeah, But, like, my thing is, is that, um, especially where we live, there's almost no houses with, like, yards. Like, my right. house is being sold, and it has this huge backyard. Right. But then my mom wants to leave the huge yard 
for some something with no yard because she just won't take care of it. Right. Yeah. But like this to me is like prime. Like hell yeah. This is sick. You know. Um. But I would love to be able to, you know, go out of town, slightly out of town, with like friends where your friends can come, can can come or can it's live it. there, and your friend and your kids can play together. Mm-hmm. Because that's another thing is it's started to uh, rebuild. But after we were done being kids and we grew up, there wasn't a lot of people fucking playing around at the park. No, dude. Nothing was going on. You never saw a big buildup of like bikes in the a front. Bikes yard. in the front yard, yep. all this shit. So then you can that's create true. that, for your, that. Right. for your kids. You know, like here you are. There's a ten acre place, and everyone just kind of lives in a. Uh, 200 feet from each other mm-hmm. and that's true. you can have this everyone can pitch in on a pool everyone can pitch in on a sports court a everyone can do all this stuff and it would be like a perfect that obviously perfect world no one would ever want to leave that's just what it was sports court would be walking dope. dead yeah <laughs> you know that would be sick though yeah no, that you know would be funny? sick just you know, all your homies too just in a neighborhood yeah just right there dude it would be dope dude in perfect world in like my backyard sport court mini ramp yeah, That'd be all that's so a skate tight, park, dude. All that shit. No, no, not even a skate park, just a mini ramp. I love skate parks. Dude, dream skate bigger. What the dope. fuck? No, 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 no. I don't. No, no, no. I don't need a skate park in my backyard. Yeah, you don't need it. This is about one. No, shit. a mini ramp would be fucking dope, ideal dude. situation, yeah, David. No, 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 stop. A God. fucking mini ramp, dude. That would be he wants so quarter tight. of a ramp. And I asked David no, the other day. A mini, oh, God damn it! Here we go. I knew you were gonna fucking bring this up. <laughs> I asked David I the other day. It. I said, well, David, what's your dream? And he's like, I want to work with in skateboarding stuff. I was like, well, what do you mean? And he was like, I want to work in skateboarding. No, 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 stop, stop. He was like, I want to work in a, I want to work like warehouse and I was like a warehouse for a skateboarding company what that's your dream bro <laughs> <laughs> so here's one thing about me I don't like dream what makes you heard well. you right like dream bigger I don't dude. explain yeah. shit out well. of the warehouse dude, <laughs> I'm, I'm slowly coming to realize like I don't dream at all I dream feel like dream bigger bro yeah, dude I feel you like I don't drink, I feel like I don't better. dream at all David needs to dream bigger dude, as soon as I think of like wait you legit were like warehouse of yeah he's like warehouse skateboarding no oh, but no like fuck? but no 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 we're no, no, in no, a warehouse like, I'm out let me fucking explain this just kidding uh, you're no. cool with a warehouse dude I'm not cool he's fine with a warehouse he wants it oh well to me like 13 50 an hour he's good when you guys are done, let me know. Uh, I'll wait. I'll think of something to yeah, make I know you will. for just a second. <laughs> Anyways, so, like, to me, like... Fuck you, John. Hold it together, man. Dude, so, like, oh, it's like you start in the warehouse, but you work your way up. That's, like, that is what it is to me. It's yeah, like, yeah. I but love the idea world, of, like, you don't fuck need to start off, at the Mitchell bottom. Bell! <laughs> let him speak. Yeah. yeah. Mitchell, um, drink dude, your marshmallow. Like, so, like, I miss, like, working towards a goal and, like, working my ass off for something. So, like... You miss yes, the like, grind. Yeah. So, like, warehouse, no. In an ideal situation, like, no. Warehouse is not the end destination. The end destination is, like, working your way up. That's to, the ideal like, starting position. Yeah. That's he, a fucking load of shit, Because he knows, That's realistically, you can't all, just be somewhere. You call it what you want. That's not a load of shit yeah, at all. Yeah, Mitch. No one, yeah, Mitch. No one has ever been like, hey, what's your dream? And the person who wants to be an NBA basketball player was like, please sign me up for high school ball. Well, is that the end point? <laughs> the dream would be the, the end point. The dream is working in skateboarding or some action sports thing yeah, of that nature. Sure. Why does my dream have to be the VP, the senior whatever? David, like, your, your dream... If you say a warehouse, like that, that seems just like a weird answer. Okay, well let me back off and say I'm not articulating the full thought he of meant, my dream he to meant you. Starting at the warehouse. Yeah, like for me, half the fun is working your way up and his doing ideal it. situation is working. His yeah, way like, into I a enjoy position. It. I enjoy working about something I'm passionate about. I get that, but like I think it's the same like, answer. I feel it like hundred percent the same answer. No. Just because I'm not saying I want to be the top dog of the but skateboarding like, industry, it's not a dream. Okay, let me ask you guys a question. Answer. Let me ask you a question. You want to work for Nike, right? Hypothetically. Are you... Yeah, hypothetically. Yeah. If you work in a warehouse for Nike, do you really feel like you work for Nike? Okay, warehouse really just happen to be the word that I, I know, chose. But that's just what I'm saying is that that's why I thought it was funny. So let's get past the warehouse point and focus on the bigger picture, which is it's a point... It's something I'm interested in that I'm, I'm not working disagreeing towards with that. and up. I'm not disagreeing with so that. So why are we still focusing on the warehouse thing? Because I thought it was funny. It is funny as fuck. <laughs> I thought it was funny that I said, what's your dream? And the first thing you said was, I want to work in skateboarding, like a warehouse or something. And, and, and I was I like, go to the point that I didn't articulate it was, well enough to you. Which in is my wh- head, it makes sense. Which is why it's funny. <laughs> All right. I get both of your guys' Which is why it was funny. Mitchell just thinks it's funny. Yeah. David is just making sense of what he meant. Yeah. That's totally fine. I was just saying that like, that's why it was interesting was because I had never, would have never guessed that that would be the answer 
for that specific question. It was is like, an interesting answer. Because I've never, like I said, like I've never asked me what their dream was. And their dream, how they decided to articulate it in the moment was, I would like to be in this. I'm okay with starting at the bottom. Yeah. Most people... Most people would say, yeah. I want my dream, and this is what I want to do. This would be my dream within that industry. They wouldn't even talk about yeah. the struggle of being at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it was funny. Dude, it's so it's funny. It's interesting though. that like, you start off but you like, say that, The too. warehouse it's guy, cool. too, like, you get to meet and like interact with so many people involved in the industry. Like You get to deal with the pros, like, get all their shit, get to know them, build relationships. And then like when some people come in, they have no fucking clue how to handle other people. And it's like, who, who, yeah. who, I mean, that might be... A dream job. Like, I don't know what. It yeah, is. I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, again, too, I mean? I'm not good at answering Mitchell, shit on the spot. Mitchell, you don't know. You don't know. So you Mitchell can't, just he ain't you can't it. say like that could be like one of the happiest jobs someone has, and they just chilling. You no, know, he ain't having it. He wanted to not hear for, like that fucking five thousand square foot for house, Rolls Royces in the driveway. Mitchell don't want no Rolls Royce. No, I'm saying that's the answer he wanted to hear though. Yeah. No, he what, wants that easy. Like answer. when when I think of working in skateboarding and some and for that specific answer. Working in a warehouse for skateboarding doesn't mean you're working in skateboarding. It means you're working in a warehouse for a company. Like you're not actually doing uh, the yeah, skateboarding yeah. portion of what I thought you would be drawn to. Mm. I, I, like I want a videography skateboarders. Yeah, see that right. would be dope. That'd be so sick. So that's what I mean. That's or what surfers. I'm saying. Like, so to I guess, me, like if you say skateboarding, like you would like to like work an event. So if, if you would I'm, like if, to be a commentator, okay. You'd so like if to we're do going something end goal with you know, skateboarding, so like, uh, I would say like. Okay. Okay. I would say like the creative part of skateboarding would be like the marketing, design, yeah, like shoe exactly. development, that kind That's of shit. That's what I was looking for. That's, That's where I get my rocks yeah. off in skateboarding for yeah. sure. Yeah. So I see skateboarding so sick. Dude, it's so tight. All that board stuff is insane. Oh, yeah. Skiing, skateboarding, you know, all that surfing, all that shit. Dude, is nuts. It's unbelievable. Like I don't even like to say unbelievable because like shit happens, but like. You just don't get how it works. Humans are unreal, dude. dude humans are You're, unreal. You aren't on to anything. Dude. Do you I was understand watching, like, X like, Games, people fucking flipping and stuff? Right? Like, the board's not attached to you. And, like yeah. the fact that humans can do this, it's, mm-hmm. it blows my mind. Who's a, like the first person? I'm gonna try a triple backflip on my skateboard. Exactly, what the fuck? dude. Well, Why? actually, it's really funny, like because <laughs> like that? they thought of it and they were like, "Oh shit, that would be really cool if we could do that," and they fucking did that shit. Yeah. And then it's like, "Holy shit, we can do anything." Well, it's funny, like yeah. we literally want Tony Hawk. Uh, Tony Hawk used and to do like. Did it. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we definitely knows. have now. For you think sure. so? Yeah, for now. I don't know, man. Now. You think so? Yeah. I'm just saying. I don't know. <laughs> Um, Tony Hawk I had like, no real not. proof Ma- then maybe not but now we've definitely been then there. back then definitely not we had a space station not definitely so, like, not. Maybe. definitely not yeah. that shit yeah, looks like, fake as hell I'm sorry that we but didn't have 4k back to, in the day yeah, you're comparing it to what you've seen now <laughs> shooting 4k watch, back in dude, the day dude go back and watch standard definition basketball it no looks way. like oh, ass it's like so what we bad. used to watch on TV. Yeah, and you, yeah. we were like, oh, so like clear. MySpace, <laughs> like MySpace, like bro, check out this sick video for 20p, baby. Let's go. Yeah, it was less than that then. <laughs> like dude, your phone is more powerful than the computer that they sent that rocket ship to, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't believe. Like, there's no way. There's a way. I'm not an astronaut, but there's a fucking way. We gotta Google it somehow. Dude, you're gonna go into so many conspiracy theories. You're not gonna find a clear answer. You're gonna walk out more confused. Are you serious? Because like I'm the king of them. I think I think I don't know. Like I said, in, 19, not, <laughs> in 1969, I don't know if we landed. I yeah. think that we did, but I don't know if we did then. But I definitely think we have now. Maybe we have a space station, so I think getting to the moon is no problem if we can put a space station yeah. out there. How long does it take to get to the moon? I don't know. How much time and money you got? <laughs> I heard like we can go there for like commercially for like 30 grand for a ticket to go to the moon. No, I don't, yeah. think, I don't think it's happened yet. I think that's they're trying to make you that a reality. That? I've yeah, yeah, that. no, I've, I've heard. Like we can yeah, be, hey, I want they're gonna to like moon. start talking about making the moon a vacation kind of thing. You go buy a ticket like Alaska Airlines, but like <laughs> go to the moon for a spaceship. No, fuck that. I'm not doing. I'm not paying any of these airlines. They're like, oh, sorry, the, the plane's full. Yeah. You gotta fly on standby to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> fuck your you're trying home to come home. home. You're yeah. trying to come like, home. Like, sorry, you're stuck here for the next six weeks. We're delayed. We're delayed. Babe, I'm gonna be home for the next four years. And yeah, time delayed. I delayed my flight six weeks. I won't be home Dude, for five years. You know time up there is like interstellar. When you're in the moon, you guys That'd be so tight, though, if like so many people started going to the moon and then Earth just became like less crowded. Uh, no, because uh, that'd be dope. I wonder how much stuff would have to be on the moon to where we can when notice you started it. to look at yeah. it, you'd see it. You're like, oh, shit. What up, man? <laughs> I'd be like looking up. We can light up yeah. there. That is interesting. Yeah. I yeah, think you wouldn't be able to see it, but yeah. Right. You don't think we'd be able to see anything? No, you probably could. Dude, I, I can think. see pretty close to my camera, like, on that moon. Like, I can see the surface. For sure, for sure. <laughs> no way. <laughs> what? I mean, you can see the moon zoomed in. 
I can see if there was buildings and stuff up there. I could probably. See, there's no way we can't can't see it. What, David? Get it off your chest. I'm Are thinking, you scared? No, What's I'm, I'm thinking. I'm trying to think. I think like mm, I don't know. Mm. I gotta show you some. Can proof. you see the surface? I can probably see, see pretty close. Depending on what it was, building wise, I bet you could see some shit. Just especially with lights on it. Yeah, that's shit. true. Yeah, you know? like that's pretty close. And that yeah, would, no, that is pretty close. I feel, I don't feel like you could see like individual buildings, but like a group of buildings. I so. like dude, I'm group. totally forgetting like that. This thing's recording this entire time. Yeah, it's half oh, the fun dude, of it. Could, I, I told it like for, like so many times. I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of my <laughs> way! Like, I want to hit it out of my way. <laughs> You might be able to see some shit. That's what I'm saying. But I, don't, I, don't I wasn't think, even I don't trying. Think, I don't think a singular building. I think it was like a community of buildings. Like if Mitchell built his dream. Do you think one day it'll, it'll come there. to that point where like we do see like yeah what we see of course. I don't. We're running out of resources on Earth. We gotta go somewhere else. Well, that's else. the thing though, because if you're, out, I, I don't know, because if you're, if you're on the dark side, like, if you're on happens? the moon and there are pictures taken, like you don't you're see night, buildings night. on Earth. Yeah, that's true too. Uh, so why would it be okay the reverse way? Because there are clouds and shit. True, that's oh, no, I feel like people are probably going to listen to this and be like, wow, these guys are fucking yeah. idiots. Fucking but when I'm looking losers. at this, I'm like, I can see this fucking crater. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> so I guess here's the thing. Though, like, how, how big is the crater compared to what a building would be, though, that's too? Fair. Yeah. Like, 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 could that crater be... Someone, a, someone who's mathematically... Like, say you can see, like, yeah, crater someone lake. Out. Like, someone do the calculation. <laughs> yeah, say, say you can see Crater Lake from the moon. But, like, we know down here how big Crater Lake really is. And we know is. that there's, like, and we know that there's, like, a, a fucking storage shack there and right. you're not seeing that. Which is why I'm saying individual buildings, no, but, like, a big, like, if it was L.A. built on that crater, yeah, you then you could probably see that. Dude, there's a lot of, like, indents in this thing, like. Yeah, it's a lot of space rocks hitting that. Yeah. That's crazy. Is it, though? Dude, it's wild. Space? Well, yeah, no, space itself is wild, yeah. Space but, like, blows my mind because, like, it, it's so scary to me. Yeah, it's the ocean scares me more. The I think. ocean is very ocean? terrifying. Yeah, we've only explored what like ten percent of it. If no, I don't even know if that Dude. we can't even send stuff down to the uh, what is it called Mariana Trench? Fucking megalodon. I heard. Dude. I think I heard Devin talking about. It. He's like, your body would collapse. Yeah, and your lungs would. Piss. Yeah, what you would you would compress? It's so dense down there and shit that it would just fucking. I've always thought it was really scary that we are surrounded by water yeah. that we aren't well, that we can't consume, and the water is very important to us. Yeah, salt water. See, I think yeah. it's a love hate. I think if we learn how to well, you like, can boil make it, it consumable, out. You can boil it out. Yeah, but I think if like is... if we could figure out how to do it on a mass scale, I think we would fucking run through that so fast. No way. Or, I think they already could do that, but they know that they shouldn't do that. Either that or Why it's going to become like rainwater, dude. Why? It's a it's a against the law. No, your that's not your water. That is not true. It's fact. Look it up. That's the big, that's the most fucked up thing I've heard, man. Yeah, it is. The guy there was a guy who was uh, catching rainwater and like drums, uh, right? North North Plains or something, and he got Busted. fucking trouble for it. Yeah, made him dump it all out on the spot. Are you serious? Nah, I don't know about that. I think, part, he got, <laughs> <laughs> I think he got fined though, or was it is illegal to collect rainwater in some yeah. states? Yeah, boom. It's insane. Pick it's a job. Super dumb. Get your job off that floor. I'm trying to sell this house. Oh, but, now but, they're allowed to catch a hundred <laughs> gallons in some states. Like but but like Aquafina can take water from the fucking Rockies or wherever the hell they grab water from. Or wherever they even get that shit from. Like, what if, like... It's nothing. We don't know. From the sky. Because it rains, and then snows, and then melts, and that's that's where they get the water. Why can they? It's crazy. Like, I'm not a big... I am a conspiracy person, but, like, that shit's weird to me. Yeah, that's... Yeah, doesn't make sense. No. Other than control. It's interesting. That is fucked up. I think that's what it boils down to, is just straight-up control. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, that's all the the government wants to do to us anyways. Yeah. Because, I mean, if they don't have control over their own people, they don't have control. It's true. Which is why I think if we were able to mass clean that water, we'd be what fucked. water? Flint, Michigan water? No, like... The, <laughs> wa- the water... Like, <laughs> all, that, all that salt Sorry, water shit. That out. <laughs> all that salt water shit. We need to fix that, for sure. Um, yeah, I think it would just become a huge, like, government would just take over. Dude, I for hate sure. when people... Hmm. What? Go ahead. No, no, no. no, no finish that. Yeah, it's finish like, that shit. I forget we we on. Finish it's it. All the time. I've done that before. Yeah. I'm mm. like, ah, what what were we talking about? People That's what I'm this. saying. How do I get back? Get back I can never figure it out. Like to the conversation. To Earth from the moon. I just start on this tangent. Dude, and yeah. I can't find we the go way back. We so many tangents. It's so awesome. I'm like, what was I saying? I know. It's there like there have been times, yeah, we'll, like, we'll come in with like a topic ready to go. And within five minutes, we're so far south. I have a topic. Yeah, hit me with it. Where is Neighbors Podcast? 
Where is this it? This time next year. Yeah, what is it? Where is oh, it? Oh, man. Well, let me goals. What are the goals? Are you excited? Are you not excited? What's, t- today's the 19th episode. Yep. <clears throat> so a year from now, if there's 52 weeks, two episodes in the week... We are, we're at like 130. I think you guys are on to a... Yeah, I think you guys have a lot of fucking momentum. You guys have a lot of momentum. 140th episode next yeah. year this time. Somewhere around there. Give or take. Give or take, yeah. Give or take. Quick math. Yeah. Um, <laughs> math check. Um, man, we're, well, we cross 1,000 downloads in... And that's total less, downloads, or... Yeah, total downloads. Yeah, 123. Episode 123. 123. One, two, three. I was close. That's you were close. I'll give you that. Um, so... 120 episodes, a thousand downloads in 19 episodes. Okay. No, a thousand Less. downloads in 17, in 17 episodes. Okay, so a thousand and 17 episodes. So yeah, I mean, I would let's say let's call it 20 because of math, right? And you said right, 120, yeah. so that's t- t- 123. Six, yeah, but by six, yeah. So oh, okay. we would be at like six thousand. Six thousand. That's not math. enough. Ten thousand plus. Nah, at least thirty. Thirty. Thirty thousand downloads. Love, yeah, I mean goal wise. Yeah. Yeah. Goal wise. I think that's I'd, probably more. I think that's I would like it to be more fifty for sure, something like that. But the thing is, is this is what happens to me: is I look at stuff like that and I'm like, okay, at what point can you, or at what point do you need to start adding stuff on? People right. have sound effects, you know, right. they got like a soundboard. <laughs> um, well, so like that stream deck right there, we could use that for sound effects. Okay. So like we, oh I, dude, I remember that. I need I, to get that. Yeah, I have. Like, we have things, but, like, at what point is this too simple? And then you have right. to add something onto it. And then at what point, by adding more stuff on, do you convolute what you're actually trying to do? Right. Yeah. And make and it where people don't like it. Work kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, I think you. I would, I would say this. In a year, I would hope to monetize it enough to where we can... Um, where we're not really paying out of pocket for gear, right? Or where we could potentially pay guests, yeah, yeah. or something like that. But so like, we haven't even really like tried. We haven't tried anything. It. Yeah, we're I mean, like, f- we're just this, doing that's it. Just, that's, that's, that's just a passion saying. project right now. That's like, it's just saying. a fun like, creative just outlet. Continue doing that, yeah, because like those goals and those things that you like, we those are out there. Like, yeah. you already know they're there, right? And they'll happen. But it's cool to see. Like, it's really exciting for me, and like that's why I keep asking questions about it because it's like. I've always been an advocate of, like, just do what the fuck you love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can figure out something you love and, like, have fun with it and, like, still be happy. Right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you it, it, it out. It's funny, too, because, like, for me, like, to think about those goals, I think about, like, all that shit and, like, all the costs it takes to get there. And, like, this right now is just, like, it's just a fun outlet that I enjoy. And I'm kind of, like, process. just rolling with the punches. Like, oh, cool. We need another mic. All right, cool. Buy the mic. Yeah. It's like, a part of the it. process. Cool. Yeah. And I don't know if we've maybe discussed it, but, like, everything in this world, everything that, like, is great, even if it's not great, down to this fucking plant, is a, is, a plant. is made up and created of multiple different things mm-hmm. put into action to create yep. this one singular thing. And, like, it, that's why it's, like, not get way off topic, but, like, that's the biggest, my biggest issue right now is that people forget how much it takes of the same thing to create mm. something that's like mm-hmm. good and yeah. like worthwhile. How much goes into it? Right. Yeah, people Dude, forget the grind. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And Come on like, it. Yeah. For us, I don't get why that started. Like <laughs> specifically for for this, um, the best thing that has happened is that we had no expectations. Hundred percent. I think that's the only way to live life. So like we didn't both. go like. Even when we have had, because like we've we've, I keep track of all. Like I'm more analytical He's than David big time analytical. In, in this it's super, in this it's specific super thing. Yeah. And so I go, okay, like if we have ten plus downloads a day, you know, like let's call that a goal. Every day we have ten, but like days where we, you know, Sundays are really tough because mm-hmm. it's the end of the week. Even though an episode just came out on Friday, people are kind of doing their thing. Um, I watched that one. They're, Gold Beach. Yeah, they're. Um, you know they're calming Gold down. Like for instance, Jesse, shower. Jesse doesn't text like at all on Sunday. Yeah, he, he kind of just like shuts his phone off or whatever, and he just decompresses to get ready for the week. And so I think that's what a lot of people do. So Sunday's rough. So when we have like one, um, one download on Sunday, like I'm not, I don't care. Well, I mean, like I would love it to be fifty, right? But like, I'll try and change it next week. Yeah, it's but, not gonna like kill oh, you. But oh, yeah, but like overall, like I'm not. I'm doing this to have fun, mm-hmm. yeah. and I hope people enjoy it. So like, I have very little to no expectations. But 
as every hobby comes, it comes with time, and mm-hmm. at some point you have to go like this. What's your time worth? Kind is, of thing. Yeah, with streaming was how much time do I want to put into it if I'm not really re- getting anything out? But the right. best part about this is an hour and a half to two and a half hours of my time a, a day, yeah, to, twice a week. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. It's, That's yeah. nothing. It's better than wasting it like doing. Yeah, be playing two K. Yeah, I mean, I blow three yeah, hours just... doing. You know exactly. <laughs> here I yeah. spend you know hour and a half talking here, hour to two hours like converting it, getting ready, descriptions, uploads, and we're good. And I think so. it's, it's dope. And like, I remember when I was sending those voice messages. Yeah. And like, I don't know why, but that moment hit me. And I have like recently, like I've had these times where it's just like, boom, I have an idea and like a purpose behind someone else's purpose, and it's like. Not everyone gets, and I didn't get it to this when I sent you this. Like, mm-hmm. it's more than a podcast. You ask questions, right, about people's like lives. You know, how many people would love love talking about their lives, but are afraid mm-hmm. to like actually come out and right. say shit. Say well, that? See, it's funny too, because like this is the first thing that I've put out there, aside from like Instagram, Facebook, all that shit. But like that doesn't really matter to me because like yeah. that's just on social, whatever. But like same thing with like taking photos or like should I design? Like I just keep that to me. I, like this was the first thing that I really same. put out there where I was like fuck like somebody could really hate this and like let the whole world it's know it's insecurity yeah and I like, just like all scared. I don't really care anymore you know like it's fun I enjoy yeah, it I don't give a fuck yeah. well like I'm the same exact way like I'm like believe it or not I'm, everything I post and everything I post, say or do online is very thought yeah, yeah. you thought you, I don't know it's thought provoking or like can be, but it you you think about it before you post it. It's, it's a little piece of yourself that you're putting out there. Yeah, we yeah. should. It just makes yourself vulnerable. Hundred percent. All of us when we post something. Yeah, I think about it a lot less than I used to. Oh, yeah. definitely now. Like I used to like not ever post because like of that shit. Cause, I'm like, just like mm, just scared. But take now it, take it for what it is. Um, yeah, it, well, I think one of the cooler things that have happened uh, outside of just how many people have listened to it. What, for instance, our first episode is almost at 150. So that means 100, almost 150 people have, have listened. listened to the, just that episode. Pretty cool. Again, when you, when I visualize it, that means that at one, like, kind of at one point we were sitting here recording it. There's 150 and there's people, 150 in, people in the room listening to us, <laughs> That's just cr- being silent That's and a really listening cool. and laughing along or whatever. For sure, yeah. It's a really cool visual, dude. Like, yeah. I've never heard that before. But one of the cooler things was how many people have reached out or said something specifically to David or myself that mm-hmm. they want to be on the podcast. Yeah. It's like that's cool because people want to be heard. Because people want to be heard. Yeah, people tight. want to people want to interact. And they want to be with. They want. We're doing something cool. What they think is cool. Right. And they want to be a part of it because they, want they so got badly. something. They got something that they really want cool. to say. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah they, they have something guys, to share. Yeah. And this was one of my biggest reasons for wanting to have the podcast and specifically to have guests was because there's so many people in my life that are doing really cool shit Mm -hmm. that a lot of people forget about because they're watching the fucking Kardashians or they're watching something else. Like the fact that Devin's in med school, the fact that you started your own business, the fact that Colby started her own business with Michelle. Colin and his architect. Colin and architecture. Uh, I mean, even Jesse who, yeah, he, like people, some people would go, oh, he just builds decks and, uh, but that stuff is so, can be so intricate and really interesting. For sure. We got a lot of people in our group, people who are in our community cool shit. that are doing so many just different this. things. Doug yeah. played basketball in Germany. That alone could be two hours of talking about that. Dude, three of my friends are like cops. One of them's a firefighter. Yeah. I'm like, you guys save people's lives. Yeah. You are fucking heroes. Like yeah. actual heroes. Yeah. It's nothing wild, like man. cliche or nothing either. Yeah, yeah. But like you're actually heroes. And like, these are like our friends and they're not like... It's weird because it's not, yeah, it's not the norm. It's yeah. not like mainstream, but like it should be talked about more. Yeah, I think we, that's super dope that yeah. you even had that perspective on it. It yeah, all started with me going stroke face on incline bench press. <laughs> yeah, it was, dude. Oh, man. It was so funny. So bad. I can't believe Devin's even in med school. It's super cool, dude. Yeah, it's, it's wild. sick. Dude, so fucking smart. Like, Him talking about just a simple process was just like, you want to dumb that down for me? Ryan Russo. He's like one of those people that rides in like the ambulances. Yeah, he's like an EMT. That blows my mind to me. Yeah. And like he's a firefighter, like fighting fires. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. Like this is like my college roommate. All yeah. of a sudden he's fighting fires. Like the thinking about that kind of stuff like blows my mind. It's like, dude, you're doing stuff that people look like Absolutely. I wrote down in elementary school. I want to be a firefighter. One yeah. Day. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, for sure. And like my friends that are police officers, same thing. Like, you guys are doing things that are like big deal. Yeah, and the the huge thing is is having friends like you that 
think that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's think a that what huge, you're doing like, is more worth and uh, a big deal than what some fucking reality TV stars doing. Mm-hmm. That's really important because yeah. we talked about it before, and I saw it again on Facebook where it was like people who start their own business and then their friends come up and ask them for a discount, but they mm-hmm. don't go up to Rihanna's lip line, like yeah, whatever it is, discount, and ask yeah. for a discount because she's already worth millions. Right. They just go, yeah, I'm willing to pay $85 for it. But because you started your own business, I'm going to ask you because I know you, you're mm-hmm. going to give me a discount, right? Well, it's like, no. You should I, need, want I need to I'm figure charge this out. I'm going to you 6% more <laughs> now. Yeah, like I need to figure this out. And um, so like we had an episode called The Hype Man where we talk about that. And it's just really important that people realize that just because you're doing something quote unquote normal, you're actually doing something really fucking cool. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and like, have, I got chills. And, like, and like, have it's that tight. perspective it's cool. that you're actually doing something important um, even if you know your friend should treat it that you're doing something really important. Everything and cool. As long fun. as like, you're a good genuine person like I feel like our friend group is really good at that. It's like, as long as you're genuine and you're like you're not a dick like whatever you're doing it like, should be the coolest thing you're fucking doing. Yeah, right. my friends have done a really really good job for the most part of being like they'll express their concern or yeah. their uh, opinion on why or what was going on, I feel like more and then once the, I decide yeah. to do it, then they're just like, "How's it going? What can I do to help?" and all that kind of stuff. And that's, it's important to remember that too. Whenever anybody, when whenever you want to go do something that's out of the norm, at the end of the day, every single time you've done something that's out of the norm, it's probably never been a negative um, yeah. outcome to you. Right? Yeah, almost never. I would guess. I can't think of a time where like this is a negative moment. Or a negative thing, and like it's you regret doing it. Getting yeah. there, right? I've never regretted doing something that like I failed in. No, I, if that I makes go, sense. I go back to it again. I think it's for me personally. It's all the anticipation of taking that first step because yeah. once you go, you just like, gotta it's jump, fine. Bro. Exactly. You gotta see if you can fly. Dude, if you can't like, fly, you better figure it out before you hit the bottom. It's like the pool at TRD <laughs> where they have, like the different platforms. Uh-huh. Like, I can't the swim. Small but... ones, fine. Oh, okay, we'll get you some Dora water. You can swim a little. I can't pass that swim test. You can't swim down and back. Nope. What the fuck? I thought you could. No, remember, like, early when we started this, how we talked about how fat I was? Yeah, that's why. I, I never... But if you're a fat, I never you got swimming just I never got swimming lessons, because, like, I never wanted to take off my shirt. He would, though. He assholes like him. Nah, dude, I'm the same way. I don't want to take my shirt science. off. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't... Just because I can float don't mean I can swim. Nah, no, but you just think that you... Yeah, you can. No, you're good. No. Oh, dude, no, I, I never it. learned. No, there were times... We'll teach Yeah, yeah. But anyways, yeah, going back to those little platform things, like... It's it's so, it doesn't look that high. The scariest you get part is there. jumping. Yeah, you get up there and you look down. And you're like that's really fucking high. But like once you go, then you just keep fine. doing it. You yeah, just, yeah. And then when you hit that again. water, you're like, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> and you're just like, fuck, I did it. Yeah, you got a big ass smile, bro. It's so like, cool. You're just like, and like, I just did that. Those shit. are the moments to live for. Yeah, I agree those with are, that. That's a good analogy. Those are the ones. That is super dope. I never thought that way. Yeah, like jumping off of something. Because like for me, I'll look at it again too. Like okay, cool. Well, this 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 could go wrong. It's like, dude, fuck it. Like just figure it out. That's half the fun and of it. If you wouldn't have jumped off that thing, you feel like such a little yeah. just. Well, it's like when we were filming that shit the other day. Just a little bitch. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> well, just, just, just a little bitch. Like all day. You're like, dude, I'm a bitch, bro. When we were filming that thing. Like I found you the really? rail, so I was like, oh cool. Like I'll mess around with the rail. And like 13 year old me, like board slide front board like all that shit and I'm like oh god like can I board slide this and like first one I did I was like alright cool we're good and just it's just like it. after that I just kept rolling with it that's why I'm glad you actually landed one out there I know, the other dude. day bro. Mitchell we were out there for a while dude we I were bet. we were at it for <laughs> far too long and he was trying to give up I'm I like no back, you guys were like far too sweaty long. I was like damn yeah, dude. I did not think it was going to be labor intensive we was that working was that was a fun day it was in, I don't even know how we got what we got at the end of it we just know, fucked man. around yeah, let's go. But like, that's all. Like to me, that that's video, the fun of it, yeah. that song. Like, make sure you got to put credit on that song. Yeah. Somehow or some way, um, I think at the bottom or something like that. It's like a For free sure. act thing. We're not getting money from it or anything. I know, but Instagram is still like yeah. super lame. They're super They'll be like, do you do you, you have rights to this? Yeah. yeah. And I'll be like, I I just put at the bottom like I do not own these rights. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll, I'll make sure I we got them. We'll make so it happen. Play my shit. We'll make no, it happen. Before we end, because I think we're at like one forty five or something like there. Yep. Um, you said uh, a couple days ago that you had like a crazy story. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try it. Let's try and walk walk you through it to tell us how it happened. I haven't heard this hor- this story at all. It's a horror story. No, it's know. a okay. weird story because like I was basically without like really like trying to throw anyone under the bus. Throw them. I can't do that intuitively. Like, I, I thought about doing this, and I've been on this thing about listening to your intuition. Yeah. And your gut, I, your tummy. Li- yeah, listen to, like, like 
listen to that knows, and it's man. telling me not to like go in depth but this is basically what happened okay I was fed a narrative by someone someone yeah and that someone's roommate that was a totally like false narrative like mm-hmm. mm. did you believe it at first I believe 100% like they were, like, I had no you. other reason why, reason not to, to not believe okay. this story yeah. I know other, but it was a weird there was a weird emphasis on this story on this person Okay. I say his name was Bob, yeah. right? I had to know Bob, and I had to know like this thing about Bob. Yeah. For some reason, it was out of the blue, out of the random, but I knew. But it was made sure that I knew this. Yeah, they were just making sure that you knew <clears throat> what was up with Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Or what was up? Yeah. Right. Because like whatever that was was a hundred percent not true, and the right. total opposite. And I find out like three weeks later, and it was like I was fed this like fake lie. lie. By people that I didn't even know, which was mm-hmm. even weirder to me. That's also weird to me. Where were you when they told you the story? I was in California. California. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cali. And like that's where it's like, it started, and then all of a sudden, like, what the fuck? I was just like, kind of, it was. It felt how manipulated. Did, how did you? How do you figure <clears throat> out that you were being manipulated? Slash, a, a fake story was being told to you. Like, what was like the dawning moment where you're like. What they what I thought was clicked. true the whole time is no longer okay. true. Whole time I had an intuitive weird vibe about it. Mm, mm. Where you're like, that just doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, y'all think I'm stupid? Like that's like you know what I mean? Yeah, like that's how it happened. Like in my head, like my, in, like to be honest, like I don't, I know when something's up. Yeah, like you feel mm-hmm. it. Yeah, it's yeah, like we all do. Yeah, but I just feel like I know. That's why when you don't like when you feel like some like it's right. And then you feel like, and then you find that out that it's, it's wrong. wrong. You, you're so hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hurt, and also very like what? Yeah, <laughs> like what? Yeah, yeah. And it was very Black Mirror esque, like like uh, it, because everything that every person that was involved, like I don't see that. I won't ever see them again. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Which is so. It's always so weird to me. It's super like Black Mirror. That like that like they went out of their way to tell you this lie oh, for no fucking reason. To really? like to like protect. Yeah. Yeah. So like, Interesting. Just, but like, you didn't need to know. No, because I didn't. you didn't. It didn't matter. No. But they like went out of their way to, to, to tell you this lie to create this false narrative to protect to protect uh, something another lie. I'm assuming. Yeah. Jesus. You know what I mean? Interesting. That is very interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. It's so weird. So this is what this is something that happens with people all the time. Is that like when um when I was doing MMA? Yeah. Uh, I had a couple people come over. And I had been graduated for like a year and a half and Johnny Quayle came over because Tanner was training with me at the time and Johnny was like, hey man, like, oh, yeah. he's like, dude, the, uh, the talk around like school or whatever, because I think he's still in high school at the time. He's like, um, is that you do cocaine? And I was like, what? <laughs> you? Yeah, was me. Yeah. I was like, me? I was like, and the weirdest part is like, I don't fuck with anybody. Yeah. Especially at that time. Yeah. Like, I was just like, you were chilling. You were yeah. doing my own shit. Yeah, and I was like, why would somebody, and I never found out, he didn't tell me who or why it came up, but like people, yeah, like people just want to say shit about certain specific people or somebody at the time to like make themselves feel better or to like maybe take some of this. Uh, to like create a lie, like weight off yeah. of, or this fear of that mm-hmm. people are gonna find them out. Yeah, so they say this other shit else. to like, yeah, yeah. Uh, a big thing that happens in Breaking Bad is that's pretty much what happens. Yep. Like telling lies about somebody else so that it seems like your lie isn't as bad, bad or yeah, as, yeah, as bad, or that you actually aren't a part of it. Right. Um. But yeah, when he told me that shit, I was like, dude, what the? F- who are you getting this information from? And that's. I was like, dude, I've never even seen cocaine, and at the time, I never even smoked weed. You ever seen flour? Yeah, you didn't really do shit. I was straight edge as fuck, dude. Yeah. And I'm not saying you, and now you don't do any of that shit either. Yeah, like but- I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I was just chilling, yeah. but like, like I, I still have never seen cocaine. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen like any drug besides. I've never seen mushrooms. I've never, I've never seen, seen and I lived in Amsterdam. Wow. And I didn't see I mushrooms either. I would have went and seeked it. Like, it's, <laughs> not like to do it, but like... <laughs> yeah, see it. <laughs> yeah. More to like see it. Yeah, and like, I mean, they're the just in shops. That's, that's what I mean. Amsterdam. You guys want to grab some food? Not eat the mushrooms. Like, all right, cool. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like, that it was such a weird thing. Like, why would somebody randomly bring up my name and then attach me to cocaine, cocaine. Yeah. when like, I don't do any of that? Like, how did that happen? Right. And like, why? Well, butterfly effect. So I love thinking about the butterfly effect. It's like, really that interesting that somebody, like somebody decided similarly but I was just I was Bob at this point like yeah. somebody had to tell someone that I was doing this thing to like to him to why for some reason for why 
So it's 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 an interesting it's, thing. It was wild because like, did it's, anyone ever do that to you, David? Spread some fucking thing about you, and you're like, dude, that is just not true. I'm and trying. then you couldn't even get ahead of the lie because ev- people had known, and then you're just like, well, because like, oh, that dude's lying. Dude, you, I, I honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I, I really it's probably don't. a good thing. I yeah. learned it a long time ago. Where like, if someone said something really like a lie about me, I never said anything. Like, I wouldn't try and combat the lie because I knew it was fake. And mm-hmm. so then if I knew it was, then I just assumed that people who really knew me would also know that it was a lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it would straighten itself out. You know that really matter. Yeah. Like, and like, it always does. Yeah. It usually does. Like, I used to be really big on that. Like, I used to hate when... Yeah, you wanted people to like you. You didn't want people to have misinformation yeah, about you to form some that. weird opinion. A yeah. false, but eventually like, it happens. Yeah. They like create it because like in nowadays and age, like a false narrative can be created so easily, so quickly. And oh, so, so fast! Yeah. It spreads like wildfire. And yeah. it's, it's sad. And we're in a world where an accusation is almost more truthful it's, than the truth, the actual yeah. truth. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, but I've worked because we're, we're gonna, we got to wrap up because we're almost at two hours. John, tell us where people can find you on like your social media, where they can learn more about your business, um, um like website or whatever. And we'll plug, we'll put it all in mm-hmm. the description. Primarily, too. it would just be at. My personal uh, Instagram would be I am Schaefer. Yeah. I A M S H A F F E R. And then from there, <clears throat> there's the studio's Instagram. Website's getting redone right now. Cool. Uh, but mostly just Instagram, texting, email. Do you know what nice. the URL of the website will be when it's Envisioninc.com. Is it, it's N, right? Yeah, N B Z N. So yeah, that's kind of oh, okay. like, so it's Envision, as in like Envision, whatever you envision, yeah. create that shit. Yeah. But it's spelled out N V Z N. NVZN.com. Yeah. Envision Inc. Inc. Yeah. Dot com. Com. Cool. We'll make sure nice. to plug all that stuff too so that people can find you. Um, because my guess is coming up here soon, people are going to start to do some shit mm-hmm. and they're going to want to know. And not only that, we got listeners in Argentina. We got listeners in Brazil. <laughs> Thailand. Who's the wildest one? Who's the wildest country? Thailand. I think Thailand. Pakistan maybe might be one of the wildest ones yeah. too. Multiple Who downloads is that? in Pakistan. Uh, who is that person? Dude, right? I have no idea. I don't know. I would love that's, to know. That's kinda how, I wish you know, that they would reach out. See, reach out. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I wish that they would. Dude. Because like, that's podcast cool. on Instagram. Start just playing a game where in the world is. And then we'll take a trip to them and record with them. I mean, them. when I think about it, if they're listening to podcasts, right, they have to have a Facebook. They have to have an Instagram, a Snapchat, a Twitter. Or What's something. that market? So, what is that market? Right? But like, I'm just like, just reach out. Just say, hey, I'm the person from Pakistan. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would love to well, chat with that person for a second. randoms just messaging us like, yeah, I'm the person from Pakistan. Yeah, now I'm going like quick little mini guests. Right? Yeah, I would love. I, I just like, would like to session. talk to him. Like, how did you find us? For like, sure. What happened? But yeah. But, um, no. Well, that's where you can find John. Um, where can and we find going, us? Uh, you can find us at Neighbor Podcasts on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram. Um, you can get my Snapchat. I believe it's at Neighbor Neighbor Mitchell. Now, you see, I just got rid of Snap. I don't know why. I just impulsively deleted it last night. Yeah. You should who are you blowing up that you shouldn't be blowing up? I'm no one. <laughs> just, yeah. like, I got to like, stop oh, texting shit. them. I was, just doing, I was going through deleting apps, and I was just like, oh, Snapchat. Like, That's like delete. a... I was like, oh, how do you right. delete that? You can't delete that. Well, there's a little X, and well, you're on Android, so I don't know how they do it. But I on iPhone, really there's a little Snapchat. X, and just click it. Yeah, yeah it's gone. download that. Well, that's where you can find us. I got to do shit. <laughs> And that's um, that, folks. That's that. Uh, so thank you. We will be back. On, yes. We'll be back on Friday, um, and we're gonna post the video that John did for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be up as you're listening to this. Yep. So check out Ain't the Instagram fact. at Neighbor Podcast. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Adios. Later.